You're on. I think we're on. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome to round five to seven of the British Online Rapid Play Championships. We are going to go straight to see the um, who's playing who in round five. Um, and we have uh, Brandon Clark against Richard Pert on board one. Brandon Clark's leading the tournament at the moment with four points. Richard is on three. Uh, and then on board two, we have Keith Arkell against uh, Dong. They both got three points. And um, two more players got three. We've got Harry Grieve and uh, Garasimos Gekos also got three. And then quite a few players on two and a half. Right, um, Chris. Yeah. Shall we? Uh, shall we actually have a look at some of the games? I think they've done. No, that sounds like a perfect idea. Right, John. let's have a perfect. look at that. So here we go. Um, we're going to. I think we'll start off with. Wow, my word! What's this? We got a dragon already here. I can't believe it, John. It's like it was scripted or something. This exactly a lot of action already. Um, so this is Brandon Clark uh, having white pieces against Richard Pert, who's got the black piece of Richard Pert as a as a well known dragon expert. And it looks like they're bashing out the theory because actually um, the games have only just started and um, they've already played twenty moves. Chris, you're a dragon expert. What's the uh, what's the uh, what's, what's the latest on this line? Oh yeah, I'm going to summarise those twenty moves in like about <laughs> ten seconds, basically. <clears throat> okay, so essentially what happens here is we've got a uh, we've got a little bit of uh, compensation for black, but white's got potential. White went for a little attack down the age file. Um, the black bishop has parked itself on g6, as you can see here, which is pretty much defending h7. So now from white, it's not so much checkmate that he's after, but uh, ultimately winning an endgame because of his queenside pawn majority. But as we can see, black is scrutinising that c2 pawn, for example, and the way he's bashing out these moves does tend to suggest that it's a little bit of preparation. It does. I mean, so, Brandon, example, Brandon Clark just bashed out King D2. That's not a move you would play unless that's prep, because, you know, you're putting your king in the middle of the board. Um, obviously, Bishop takes C2 as a possibility for black still, or the Rook C1 pin. Yeah, Rook C1 would be a pinner. But I, the general idea is the white king is prepared to travel over to the king side if it wants sure. to. So, like I say... But, I mean, what, for example, in this position, yeah. a move that um, seems obvious to me is Queen A7. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that's why I think King D two is a move you just you you play if you know of the theory already because it's it's a big decision, especially when you've got eleven. You know, it's the start of the game. He's got eleven minutes on his clock. Yeah, he plays that last move very quickly. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. Clear. So yeah. my feeling is it's probably still all theory now, Rich. It's actually just the first bit of the first thing actually. Yeah, and obviously this is a. Definitely. Well, it's completely a key moment, of course. That, everyone knows that you. Everyone has their own little bit of opening theory that they play in a game, and as soon as someone does something different, you think, "Uh oh, what am I supposed to do now?" And that's when you have to take stock, slow down, calm yourself down. And he's played that queen a seven move, by the way, John. And rook h, good grief. So you can see this is prep. Uh, basically, the rooks come to e1, so he can block a little check on e2. So if the queen descends on f2, there's going to be a rook blocking check. Uh, that was probably about the. Uh, the most obvious move. Also, simultaneously, white does put a little bit of pressure potentially on the e7 pawn. Mm. So, are we, okay. yeah, rook c5, I was going to say for preparing rook b8, maybe next go as well as rook c8. So, black wants to make the most of his uh, active piece play here. Uh, rook a1, healing the queen, taking the a file. That makes a lot of sense. Queen c7. Wow. Okay, so this is cool. So now, obviously, Rook B8 is going to have a certain appeal to it, but the Queen can just drop back to C3, I guess. and then Yeah, uh, that's a good place for the Queen C3, isn't it? Um, then it might, might be all hands to the pump to protect it. So if Queen B6, there's Rook A3, I guess, then to defend the uh, defend the Bishop on yeah. B3. So it's, uh, I mean, it, it feels like Black's got really good play here for the pawn, but if uh, Brandon has prepared this... You know, and the and the engine says white's clearly better. That, that gives you the confidence to play this as white, doesn't it? Basically, and the way he's bashing out the moves, it still looks like preparation because you know you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't do this normally if you've got eleven minutes on the clock. No, uh, definitely not. So it's, it is preparation, but you would imagine or you'd hope that there's going to be some point 
where the preparation comes to an end. And he's well, I suspect Richard will be hoping that. He won't, won't he? Yeah, <laughs> well, this is always the problem. This is always, this is always the problem. You and I know only too well. I'm not sure we should really give the game away live on air here, but you and I both know when we play in some London League games against club players, they always try to, inverted commas, take us out of our theory fairly early on, like on move two, three or four or something thinking that that's all we do, book up on theory. But actually, we're much more concerned when our opponents are bashing out theoretical moves, aren't we, straight from the off? So, uh, yep. yeah, Richard, I'm sure, will certainly be because, hoping. Because it's not easy playing against stock, Stockfish 14, is it? No, it's not a Stockfish 14. It's it, not. No. Should, we, um, this, look, should we go to another game? Um, yeah, OK, so Richard at the moment is having to ponder what to do. Let's, let's go to um, Keith. And he is playing Dong. Um... Okay. So it looks, it looks, like, a typical, white this looks, looks like, like a typical Queen's gambit decline de sort of structure, and that's exactly what we have. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, but Mr. My, my intuition, I quite, like, I quite like Black's position here, actually. Um, I'd have to say I agree. I, I have seen, Keith does seem to, he doesn't mind hunkering down in a no. lot of these type of positions. I, I mean, of course, Keith, this is, Keith's favourite pawn structure, isn't it? Um, the five pawns on the king's side. Well, uh, four on the queen's pawn, basically. So essentially, Keith, what he normally does is he holds off anything on the king's side and then eventually he'll start making progress on the queen's side with the kind of B4, B5 minority attack style thing, usually. But yeah. He needs to keep his uh, house in order on the king's side first. It just seems to me that nor in a normal Keith game, he's a bit more progressed on the Queen side. Yeah, he does seem to be a bit um, blind here, doesn't he, actually? Well, it seems, yeah, well, Black's certainly got everything lined up on the King side, yeah? I mean, do you, uh, it, it, obviously, well, this could be a, a game that we could look at, that we could re re revisit the opening or if, if we do get a little break at the end of this round. But at the moment, I'd say, yeah, I'd be quite content with Black here. Mm. Um. Having but said that, having, having said that, he's got to break at some stage with G4 or F4 or something. He's got to do something at some stage, doesn't need to break. Sure. Uh, and the, even though Keith is not well progressed on the king queen side, he's still actually got quite a solid defence on the king side. It's not that's going to be quite careful. Have to be quite careful about what he actually does on the king side. So here, for example, Keith might be threatening to go pawn to H4, and should ah oh, right, uh, that looks like a, right, that looks like a key move. Action. So. Uh, Action. So I guess what will happen now is Keith will probably play G4 he has. Yeah. So he's trying to keep it as blocked as possible. That looks like a good idea. Um, now, I guess one, one plan would definitely Knight be... Knight can come to H4. Yeah. That's a good square, isn't it? That is. That's what he's going for. I don't think <coughs> Keith can risk H4 here. The Knight can take the pawn, self-pin, but it doesn't look well, the right. The problem is, once he puts a Knight on H4, that Rook on H1 is going to be... Oh, is he going to go King H1? Oh, he's going to have to try King H2, isn't he? Yeah, that feels. But then there's. Yeah, no, but is there going to be some sort of rookie three type tactic? Yeah, that should be. That could be interesting. Yes. I mean, even if we think about that, yeah. If King H two, what about rookie three? Pawn takes rook. Knight takes F three. Check followed by F takes E three. That looks well dangerous. Okay. We'll see. Should we stay on this game just for a little bit to see if I think that? so, because every Oh, he's done it! So, okay, so Black, he's obviously... Well, I mean, to be honest with you, King H, Keith's King H2 is the move you want to play. You don't, you don't want to block... No, but, game, but the point is, beggars can't be choosers. If it loses to Rookie 3, you'd have to have done one of the alternatives. The alternatives didn't look that great anyway. No, no. Today. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, but there's a difference between losing and groveling, is there? Yeah. Well, we're not sure though. So I mean, it is. I mean, rookie three is a is a high risk, high reward though, isn't it? It's, 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 you know, it's it's not completely clear at all. No, uh, but let's face it. He could do a little bit of calculation, and and that could make. Yes. It. I mean, we've just kind of, you know, just touched on it. So that's just should we try to investigate? And this is, of course, what he's having to do real time. We are mm. looking at a game which is in progress. Rookie three. So the pawn has to take, otherwise you're losing the bishop. Sorry. Ooh, yeah. Then, of course, uh, black can play knight, takes f3, check the king moves. Well, let's say g2, I guess, only move. Oh, he's not done it anyway. He's not done it. But that was um, really... Yeah. Shall we... Shall we move? Let's, let's have a look at another game, shall we? He is, of course, threatening to take on f3 and take on g4 now. Oh, that's... Yeah, so that probably he's going to make a, a, a move, one of his rooks, I guess, yeah? To bolster the G4 pawn. Yeah, it looks still looking a bit. Oh, oh but yeah. then rook E3. Oh, knight. Yeah, that's looking well dangerous knight. there. Yeah. 
I have to say Black's doing very well. And if yeah. That's not good for Black's good. Good. But we he's yeah. an incredibly good defensive player though. So um so there's a lot of things to go on in that game. And of course, also don't note that Keith has he's actually quite got a time advantage at the moment, nine minutes to five. So problem is not much point having time on your clock in a dead loss position. No, but you can check out the other the other board three game with all yeah. the G's playing. Yeah. So this is um Harry. Yeah, this is yes, yeah, Harry against GG, isn't it? Yeah. GG against <laughs> G, really. So, right, yeah, okay. so let's G have a look. G. Yeah. Um so it was a Sicilian C3 Sicilian. Yeah. Um, and it looks pretty even. Uh maybe I would say maybe maybe a bit better for black because of these because of that is those isolated pawns yeah. on the queen side. And it's not that easy for white to get rid of, although white could consider playing the move a5 to get rid of one of them. Um, but there's not much in it. This bishop, I like this bishop on f6, it's a strong piece. Yeah, I think I would slightly prefer to have black in this position. Yeah. I think I quite like the black rook on the e file and even yeah. the queen on the b file covering yeah. that. White needs to somehow get this, bishop. white needs to get the rook in the game, and also white probably has to make a move at some stage to uh, make his back rank. Um, yeah, and if Knight's kind of not really okay, so he's going for the mega swapses. Strictly speaking, I suppose the isolated pawns aren't so weak uh, when yep. there's no rooks on the board. Is there That's a good point? Pieces? Yeah, rooks are the best pieces at exploiting. Uh, now they can only be attacked by the, the queen and the knight, uh, given that they uh, always oh, having a bit of a think about which way to recapture. Okay, yeah. Ah. Yeah, but it's true that pawn on a4, I'm a bit nervous about that because black might even go a5 and knight c5 and that pawn could just be in trouble. Okay, so let's have a look at the another game. Yeah, go for it. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, my Hannes word. Bit, yeah. I guess Andrew mm. gets so what's happening here? Wow. Is this some sort of... This is a Karakhan. Uh -huh, Karakhan? Yeah. Okay, there it is. So we've got... What's the, what's the, what's the count? It's uh, equal, equal material, yeah. Um, so what is going on here? Is the white king, inverted commas, more centralised or is it a little bit vulnerable and, at the moment? And I like that black knight on c4, I have to say. Yeah, and black's targeting this pawn as well. He's blocking d4, he's targeting a2, and he's got a c file. I think you have to say it's a little bit better for black when you're in it, this position. It feels a little bit better for black, or, or at least it's, it seems easier for black to play, yeah? Yes. Which, which, is, which is more or less the same thing, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, I keep getting these notifications for Sir Chester saying, Are you here? I am. We're here. <laughs> Chester.com, don't have no fear, Chester.com, we are here. Yeah, don't don't um log us off, whatever you do. Right, please, please. So um okay. So the interesting thing is the king on C2 can be vulnerable, but it's also a good defender as well, isn't it? It can actually defend some of the white's weak points. So it's like a double edged sword. I mean, for example, in this position, if black played the move knight b4, we'd have king b3, we'd actually fork both knights which would be quite nice um black would be able to escape by swapping off one of the attack knights but even so that, that our king would actually be quite, uh working quite well but not a great deal well obviously quite an interesting position over k3 okay, okay, that, so that right. feels like a very nice move very yeah. flexible move preparing to double on the a file and pressurizing that c yeah and now knight. don't forget also knight before knight now. b4 looks tasty in the extreme wow. in fact that's a big threat that threat that threatens to just to win the knight on c3 because the king would have to uh be wow. removed from its defense has he got to move a rook to the b file now has yeah probably b1 or something yeah rook b1 to um see so he, he still needs this other rook to defend that pawn so yeah. okay b1 now, okay this is pressure isn't it this is definite pressure no i don't like this position at all yeah okay uh should we go should we have a look at drunken knight against Frank yeah go. yeah oh, yeah chris duncan oh Oh, Queen's Gambit declined semi Tarash variation by the. Or, tarash or even just a Tarash, tarash yeah. Tarash, sorry. Yeah. Tarash variation. Um, it which looks... is typified by that isolated pawn on d5. Mm. And why it's blockading that. Why would just like to have lots of fair swapses and then mop that pawn up and win an endgame? But it's not necessarily going to be so um, good. But feels. Could White here just go knight b3 to attack the queen and then unleash another attack against d5? I know he certainly could. He has, it looks like he's done I mean, to, honest, to be honest, that. this looks like a, a very good version of the Tarash for White, doesn't How it? How did that go wrong? So that obviously went... They must have been tricked in the move. Oh, okay, a6 came very early in this game, didn't it? So it doesn't... Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, That. okay. Let's um. Let's go to the next game. Yeah. Tal's Tactician. 
uh, which is Matthew Payne against um, David Walker. So whoa, this, this something. Is a, a French def- this is a McCutcheon variation of the French defence. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. have we just missed a t- we just missed something here, haven't we? Uh, Look, knight takes. What? Oh, well, yeah, we have. Let me just should go back and move in this position. Here. On, White yeah, plays, yeah, sacrifice knight the takes c5. Wow, neat. So, can we actually? Can oh, we play the move? If look it takes, at that. Okay. Well, we can't actually. We can't actually play the move. Yeah, picture it. So, something to do with e6, I would That's imagine, and then g6 and e6, e things being checkmate somewhere nice, on the line. Yeah. He takes d5, e6, and if they take with the pawn, queen g6 is actually checkmate. Yeah, so it's got to take with the bishop, yeah. But then, then the we can the self pin. Yeah, and then we can always do rook takes and then rook e1 to win the queen, I suppose. Yeah, or even or even pawn to f5 just to win the bishop with a really strong attack. Yeah, so that was, so either way, oh dear, he's played so bishop Basically, six. so um, David Walker played bishop 6, just ignoring it, it, that might just be the best option, actually. Um, playing on as though he'd seen it coming all along yeah problem is if that knight moves away we can expect d5 to come again sure <laughs> another yeah. time can't we probably um, well if i was black here i would think i'd probably be considering just taking that knight off yeah the, is, it gonna then, be, is there a queen takes g7 into mezzo that could be yeah in? i'm not worried about it. i'm just going to give up some pawns i want to take it off and then go queen a6 and try and get some counterplay with mate threats. So you want to go rook f8, yeah, AB, and then queen a6, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. The most reasonable. Just... I definitely would take that knight, if only because you need well, that. Uh, it's, 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 to be honest with you, it's, what's white doing against this queen a6 idea? Uh, yeah, that seems a bit careless. Yeah, does that seem care very careless, actually? So bishop b4. Oh, hang on. He doesn't necessarily... Have, he does. Actually, could be more sacrifices might be forced at some stage here. So bishop b4, you're right. Essentially, John's idea is if a takes b4, queen a6 threatening mate. I suppose he can always go king b1. He's done it. He's done it. King b1 would always stop Ah, oh, king b1's a quite good but, move, yeah. but the thing is, will he take... Oh, no. So he took... But queen, queen a6 now, we, can, uh, we can't... Of course, we can't... Queen a6 and then... Yeah, he's done maybe it. Some okay, sort king of, b1, yeah. Maybe some sort of g5 followed by casting queen sides. Just to... Just to Black C, Black C, yeah, yeah. Black's got to yeah. just uh, change the flow of the game because White was just dominating a minute ago, and Black's probably just got to give up some pawns and so he can get his king safe. Yeah, and then then things might happen. So G five, uh, Bishop D five looked like the other logical move to have to say, but then, so but are we even? We're not even really threatening Knight B two, are we? Because the king can sort of run away, can't it? Are we threatening Knight D two? No, we're not because of Knight takes D two. Yeah. Or, or indeed, King, oh, King just, C1, of King course. King C1, yeah. yeah, it's annoying. We want, we well, want Knight to... C2 wins a piece, of course, is worthwhile noting. Yeah. Something. Okay. Yeah, so, so back, um, and this, isn't this going to be this Queen F6 move? Could be a bit of an issue if he here. Yeah, if, it he is. He goes yeah. Rook F8. Rook F8, yeah, Queen F6. And that's the King has to go to D7, C6, and B7, maybe, to run away. Yeah, that's one. basically what Black wants to do. I mean, the trouble is we can't... Re- we, we, well, we could, I guess, conceivably, in this position, go King D7 now and give up the F-pawn just so we can go to, um, just so we can go to uh, C6. Yeah, 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 okay. That's possible. Right, yeah. I think yeah. Black's just going to have to... This game's sort of... I don't know. Should we... Should we uh, I've got so many games. There are a few good games on there it. There are, yeah. Should we go? Should we go back to board one? Because actually, um, that looks that looks interesting. Right. Okay. Head back. Um, that is obviously a crunch. Crunch. That is because also. Whoa. Um, oh. Yeah. Richard Pert doesn't have much time left. Wow. What's going on here? But he is a piece up, but the game's got incredibly. Oh, he's not a piece. Actually, won't it? What's going is on he here? Exchange down. No. Uh, what, what is going down here? What was that last move? Well, See, let's go back. Rooks. So basically, is this position? White unleashed. Basically, this rook is under attack, but the queen's defending it. Brandon played oh, C5 went C5 check. check, and now rook takes B3. That's wow. a very clever move. Unless, well, let's see actually, because I mean, obviously, in this position now, you'd have thought rook takes B3 would be White's typical follow-up. But um, then, and then least... rook takes A7, and yeah. Although there is, yeah, there's, and also there's a check on G5 in some other few white tries to do something clever other than that. So, um, wow, What's going what on is going this? on? Was, do you think C5 was a mistake then? Looks or, like, or, 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 well, are we, it's different. I mean, I can't tell. Yeah, we need to check that later. But let's, okay, let's talk about this particular position. But certainly, here. certainly he's, he's not, he's not, uh, Brandon's not playing the move quickly. So it looks like he's either checking his variations or he, he just overlooked rook takes b3 wow so um, 
I mean, there's obviously queen d5 check, but then bishop f7. Uh, so any checks along that diagonal. So rook takes c7. Okay. Or oh, so that threatens mate, of course. Ah. But now right. dc is check. So rook takes b3. This time around. I, how ironic that white played c5 check, but now black could go d takes c5 mm. check in a second. But of course white could do... Well, white's got other moves here. Queen d5 check, followed by queen g5 check. Or... Possible. Or C, or simply C takes D six. D six is definitely possible. I mean, that looks, that's looking strong, surely. Well, I mean, what's Black doing against C well, takes D six? Well, he could D6? go Queen B eight, but then you mean Rook takes Rook, Rook to Queen takes Rook, and then D seven, getting a new Queen. Probably. Yeah. Well, Black would then have to go Queen B eight check. Yeah, but, Queen yeah. B eight. Yeah, that's not necessarily. Real, but it might be grovelable, that mightn't it? Yeah. So obviously he's just having. He's, yeah. So he has done that. Right, okay, um, so let's call our jets and check. Is it only going to be queen b8 here? Oh, no, I he can also go queen b6, could he? Queen b6. Same thing, is that the same thing? No, queen d5 check then, yeah. Oh, but there's queen d5 check anyway, isn't there? No, bishop f7. Oh, my word, John. This yeah, is, yeah, this, this, is this is, we need to stay with this. this is Probably queen b8 then, because at least it pins the d pawn, yeah? Yeah, he, yeah. has he done that? Yes, done that, yeah. Well, now queen b5, then you have to go bishop f7, don't Yeah, then queen, g, then queen g5, yeah. Oh, no, wait a minute. What about rook takes b3 then? Yeah, queen d5, bishop f7, rook b3. Yeah, rook takes b3, b3, b3 wins three. for white. It's game over, isn't it? It's yeah. game over. Queen b5, bishop there, uh, rook takes b3, oh, queen how takes annoying. b3, top bishop queens. Takes b3. Yeah, and b7. Then he yeah. can't. Oh, no, can't be doing that. It's going to be rook takes b3, game over, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like it's game oh. over. Rook b3. Yeah, sure. So maybe we should look at this game in detail after the round if we get time. Okay. What happened yeah. in between? I mean, I well, think this is an absolutely critical game, isn't it? I think he's just re just just checking that. Brandon wins this. He'll be up by. He'll be well in the lead now. So he's checking here, unless we're missing something. Okay. Well, obviously, Queen G five checks another possibility. I mean, that's just obviously that's good as well. Uh, no, rook B three is just easy peasy. Then the squeeze. Queen G five followed by Rook takes B five followed by D seven, but. So he goes rook b3, queen d8 is probably forced, doesn't he, to keep the game alive? Yeah, and then queen e5 or something, yeah. Oh, there is, sorry, ah, oh, there's a skewer, isn't there? Yeah, there's ah, a skewer, then you've got, to go, you've got to go queen d1, so I might win that d6 pawn, is that right? No, so, no yeah, let's have a look at that, queen, rook sorry. Rook b3, queen d8. So rook b3, queen d8, queen d1, say. And then I can, oh, everything's check. It is all check, yeah. Oh, but hang on, I've got to check on G5. Is that ever going to be any use? Probably not. Yes, I am still here. Just good, away. good news, John. Yeah. That's good um, news. So that's one thing. Maybe you think about Queen G5 check here. Okay. Uh, yeah. King moves. But was that other line not? That other line was still quite good, though. Oh, it's it? very good. But Queen G5 check might be queening. Because Queen G5 check, white side there simply go rook takes B3 followed by D7. He's done it. He's done it. He's done yeah. it. So he wants to go rook takes B3 now. Or D7. Actually, just... D oh, he can't go D7 because of the pin. <laughs> so, yeah. Rook takes... Oh, Rook takes B3. I can play with the bishop, though, can't you? Oh, can't you? Yeah. You still can't move that pawn while you're pinned, but you could do other things with it. So, King G8 here? So, what's yeah. going on? This is... Richard's fighting for his life, isn't he, here? He certainly is. There seems to be... Oh, least... oh Rook takes G4. E4 is an, another pos yeah, another possibility. Oh, my word. That is a me one me move. But can, can I just come behind the pawn? Sorry? Can I come behind the D rook D, pawn? Rook, rook D3. Rook my D3. idea is to use my rook. You can slide along, but I can then go bishop G6. Check Six, yeah. I think. I could probably go, yeah, that's true. All oh, right, yeah, and this, this pawn is still pinned. Pinned for the time so, being. Wow. Meanwhile, um... Uh, on board two. Okay, we can head there. Quick, Keith Ark, we'll see how he's doing. That's actually finished. Oh, Black won that. Oh, yeah, he won that game, oh, yeah. Oh, my word, it was looking bad for Keith. It but was, yeah. Maybe we'll look at that game in the we'll break. We'll revisit that game, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go to board three. This was the, oh, that was the pretty solid game where Black's slightly better. Not much is happening there, apart from they're getting shorter time. Um, it looks like uh, Brandon's still thinking about his move on board one. What about board four? Oh. Um, oh, this was the game um, where Black was better, we thought, where Black had a lot of pressure. And now he seems to be a pawn down. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Oh, my word. It's, it's all things have changed. So, Yikin Han has, um, I oh think, my word. He's, he's defended 
Are we going to end up with Rook Knight and three against Rook Bishop and two on the same side? That is not going to be pleasant for Black, is it? No, it's not. Not at all. I guess what White... He might try and swap off the bishop for the knight. He might be... To, yeah. so actually, this is quite critical because if he goes King C1, he might be able to go Bishop H6 and get that swapped off straight away. So I wonder uh, whether White's thinking about going Rook C8 check and, and then maybe... Oh, A4, but then Rook D2 looks a bit That's, worrying. No, 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 yeah, I think so. White's going to have oh, to... Hang on, no, no, you're right. Rook D2 check, actually, because where does he go, actually? That's... Oh, then Knight, yeah, then possibly Knight F5 check. Yeah, yeah. but King then you attack, yeah, then... Oh, yeah. Knight F5, King F6 saves saves the bishop. Well, what about him. what about King D? Can I go King D7? Oh, he's gone that straight away, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's given him the C2. All right, player. let's go back to board one because that's, I mean, that's, we need to. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, that rook B2 looked as though he was going to go rook takes F2 there and get a little. Uh -huh. Well, come. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this okay. is. Oh, my word. So Keith's managed to keep this game going. I mean, it's still looking. You mean Richard? Really... Sorry, Richard. Yes, Richard, yeah. yeah, has managed to keep this game going. It's still really tough for Black. Oh, However, <laughs> his king's a bit cut off there on G8, isn't it? Yeah, but he could actually swap off. Can he? He can swap off the queens, can he now? Can he? Can, oh, Bishop F7, rock solid. He's just going to block on the light squares, John. Can he? Yeah, he has well, three he... pawns. He's got the B pawn as well. That might come. Yeah, in. so so I guess White's king's going to be very safe on H2 after any check. So I guess White will now play E5 to to break to break the pin. Uh, but notice that basically Richard has actually now got a time advantage. As well. wow. wow 14 seconds this could be yeah he's not gonna have time to work out a plan is he here not a good one anyway not easily queen d5 a lot of checks coming in yeah but at some moment basically why gonna have to sort out that problem with the pins deep on well of course the other thing though is a draw is not actually a bad result for him Tournament-wise, so tournament yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So result, that's basically. going to go through his head, isn't it? But basically, the point is, it's pretty clear that uh, White was just winning earlier. He'll know that he's winning. So this is one of those interesting little psychological uh, tussles you have within yourself mm. during the course of a game. But that is looking like blockade. He's definitely getting some sort of blockade. But the B pawn might start trying. Yeah, oh well, wow! Well, obviously, Brandon's definitely going for it. I mean. Um... He could we, have could we could go King F. Could have gone King F seven there. Actually, that would have been yeah. fine. Okay, but by this stage now, I think. I mean, for example, even the move Queen F one with yeah check, check, check. I mean, D seven wow. is not playable now because you swap queens and take the pawn, and then yeah. you yeah. know, then Black might even be winning. He's got the right color rooks pawn as well. So he's, maybe Richard now. I think Richard might be thinking about trying to win. Can this. Can, can Black even take on G two? Am I missing something? Uh, I don't, there's not even any checks. Yeah, take it. Oh my word. I think this is a, he could even, wow. So he could even check. Oh my word. I think he's checking there. That's where he's checking. Yeah. That looks, oh wow. Okay. Now, so, okay. So, um, this is, uh, it feels like it's better for black now, this position. Yeah, I definitely, it's better. This is definitely better for black. Isn't yeah. It? Because if nothing else, you've got lots of checks. Yes. And white won't be able to escape. Now, the question is obviously if now, if Richard's trying for a win, which probably is now because he's got the advantage, how does black make progress apart from, yeah, because at some stage he's going to have to. Well, if the queen is dropped off, isn't black just winning if he can? Is that right? Because he well, can get pawn to I'm, h3. He can get never... pawn to h3. He's just winning, isn't he? If he can swap off the queens. So long as his king's within the square of that B pawn. Yeah. Yeah, if he can do that, that then that would be winning. Do you think he's... Um, oh, oh, what's, what's interesting here is I wonder in, in these sort of positions whether if the position is repeated three what times... What about queen f5 check? Queen f5 check, king e3. And then queen h3 check. King d2. So you're going to take and get connectedos. But even that! Yeah, we don't... What? Yeah, well, anyway... Oh, he's that's... talking off the queens, but hang on. He's just winning, isn't he? Why not queen takes queen on h4? That must isn't that just winning, John? Am I missing something? Possibly, but I think yeah, I got, just, he, 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 can, he can win the b pawn by by checking that queen b3. This is, I think, what he did is better. Oh, he's that pawn first, yeah, because basically the point is, but um, now he can't. But he, oh, oh mate, mate he can't argue with that. He can't, he can't argue, argue with that. that. No, that is wow. oh, Brad, uh, he should have taken it well. Amazing. We he can should. maybe, um, 
We'll have a look at that in a second. Yeah, before. let's go back to this. That is a good There's game. actually lots of games that finish. Well, let's go, go go to this game here. This is um this is actually the only game that's continuing at the moment. So let's have a look at this, and we can look at some of the others a bit later. Oh, Black Swan upon someone on the line. He has. So oh, this is cool the game. Oh my word! Oh, Knight B three check. Game over. Yeah, that's a strong check. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid to say that's bad news for Mr. GG. And this, he's playing on valiantly, but you've got to imagine. 20 seconds. That was a bit much on the time to fall for a little fault. Was it probably a bit Well, a, I, the, obviously the pressure builds, doesn't it? It wasn't. Pressure uh, builds, yeah. Okay. You suppose. Uh, so. Interesting. That just that just gives up a pawn. But I suppose knight a knight take the point. No, oh, he's winning the eight. Oh, but no, oh, he's winning the oh, Okay, king f7. Let's keep going. Keep going, yeah. Um, don't just don't get full. Don't go to c3. Oh, he's going to the right square. Yeah. Check. Well, okay. This is obviously a win for black, but we'll just as uh, we might as well carry on to the end because there's no other games, and then we can. Is this the only? This is literally the only game now in the tournament. Yeah, it is. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, it could be resignation time any moment, in which case we will have 15 minutes to investigate a couple of those other games. Um, in fact, should we, should we start investigating some of those games? I think so. I think it was safe to say that Black is so, yeah, yeah. Let's just do that, yeah. So I think we've got two. We've got ball one and ball two to look at, John, really. Well, we've got, we've got more than that. We've got quite a few, Elite. haven't we, actually? Elite. Yeah, so um, let's uh, let's have a look at board one to start off with. And uh, we will need to go to live analysis, oh, I believe. It's probably so exciting do. this is going to be. So, um, okay, so let's have a look from... So just, uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, from the start, it was uh, Bragan. Oh, that's interesting. Want to do that? It seems to be play, playing the moves without me. Um, it wants to take over the world. It does so seem to want to take over the operation. What's going so on here? Oh, this, uh, is what, this is what. Yeah, I want to this do. is what this happened. Is yeah, this is what I want to do. Sorry, yeah. Um, so I was pressing the wrong uh, thing. So okay. okay. So um, this is actually the theory. So we won't go too much. What we were so it's probably worth is... pointing out that after Bishop F5, G4, probably Bishop takes C2, followed by B3 was a big threat. Let's have a look at that, shall we? So in this position, so this Bishop is. Obviously, we talk about the dragon bishop being on g7, being a good attacker and defender. But actually, this bishop on f5 is doing a similar sort of role. Isn't <laughs> He's it? a good attacker and a good defender. And a good defender, yeah. So, um, so after, if, if uh, as you were saying, Chris, after g4, bishop trying to bishop. chase the bishop away from yeah. that diagonal, black's got this trick here. And obviously, um, yeah, that's just uh, quite handy. Very, very good for black, isn't it? Because not only we, um, obviously, not only we threaten to take on c2 win and queen, but for example, if queen h6, yeah, we're going to gonna do checkmate first on down the a yeah, file, yeah. queen a8 or queen a5 or something like that. Yeah, so we get in first. Yeah, we, we get when in we say first. we, of course, I mean black. Basically. You're a, you're <laughs> a, you're a, a temporary <laughs> dragon player for here. Yeah, right. Well, we, we, yeah. So, um, h takes g6 happens yeah. and then, um recapture back with the bishop and that's a, that's not necessarily the most obvious move that you would play but well is, normally of course you like to keep your pawn structure but here the bishop is now away from those g4 threats and also it does defend h7 which is mm. just a, so the question is would white ever get time to play like g4 f4 f5 and i think the answer is going to be definitely a no and i think we find that soon so but now white well i guess um black's probably threatening bishop takes c2 again i yeah. think he is again yeah, 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 yeah this yeah. is queen takes b4 this is basically um uh, uh, Brandon Clark, it, it did obviously, this is all looked like preparation, yeah, because he's yeah. playing the move so quickly, and uh, rook a1, queen c7, and now c4 um, makes sense. Yeah. B8, queen c3, just we thought, and now queen b7, as you mentioned, he's sort of a, sort of starting to like Benko style pressure on the queen side. Yeah, so this all happened, didn't it? And rook a3 hung. Uh, rook e3. Yeah, rook e3. I quite like that because also it allows the other rook to go to e1 and uh, target this pawn here. Yeah, fair enough. Um, definitely. That, so that, I don't that, think that much is happening down the a file actually for either side. I no, think, no, um, not really. So, uh, so e5, right? So I, I think that may have been a decent practical move. I mean, Richard probably looked at this position, and thought, "Isn't actually what to actually do here." Yeah, I think, I can't, I mean, what you, he, he might like to treble on the B file, but that rook from C5 just can't get to B6 or B4 very easily. So he's got to, long, yeah. So he's got to do something somewhere He'd else. Have to do something very contorted, yeah. Mm. 
rook c7, queen b6, rook b7. But it just doesn't, yeah. It yeah. Just doesn't so e5 was basically looked like a way to try and complicate it. Because at least now black, okay, his king is much weaker now, but at least black's got possibilities as well with the center pawns. So and of course, so the, white rook, the white rook's required on e3 to keep the bishop protected, of course. So yeah. that e pawn isn't on prees for a while. E5, so king f2, that, that looked like a good play, just making the king safe. I think the king's pretty safe on the king side now, isn't it? Yeah, certainly um, is. Queen b6, that's a good move, just putting the queen on the same diagonal as the king. Never a bad idea. Rook a3, king g7, king g3, I like that as well, because the king just coming, coming off that safer. Diagonal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. the queen, now again, queen d8 is a good reaction to that move now, because now queen g5. Now it's pushing diagonal queen g5, and yeah. there might be a check on h4. Right. And now right. the okay. game so here we'll get, we get, we're getting some excitement quite soon here, aren't we? So, mm. so I'm imagining queen g5 check was nothing. It would just chase the king back round to g1 where it will be happy. I think so, yeah. That's so, always that's always when you're, when you're considering checks, that's always you have to take that into consideration. Sometimes, obviously, it's always worth considering checks. But if, it, if all it does is actually improve your opponent's king, then it's usually a not good idea to do it. So, so for example, queen g5. Oops, sorry, it's black white's turn. Sorry, queen g5, king h2, queen h4, king g1. And unless black can get a rook to the back rank, then black hasn't achieved anything at all apart from making the king safer. Mm. So Richard played yeah. the move e4, and again that looks a good move because it unleashes that rook. But of course, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because the black king's now weak along this diagonal yeah so get it really hot yeah up. it's definitely so, a game um, of give and take rook a7 here. check yep in g8 oh dear no tough decision to what exactly yeah basically now, the mate is threatened on g7 which seems to be a yeah bit and of now an issue. richard did um the only rook move c7 yeah rook c7, the only point. this is where this is where we saw it from so this is an amazing position isn't it um wow wow so I mean, so the really funny thing is a blunder obviously not to do is rook takes rook queen takes rook c5 check allowing oh hang on, maybe he could have done, actually i'm not getting i'm going mad aren't i then in fact that's pretty is that pretty similar to what we've got in the game anyway yeah yeah okay so fair enough so, <laughs> yeah well, I, could, well, I could go here and we're probably going to transpose aren't we? yeah i think so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. so uh so yeah, let's the trouble is there's so many pins and discovered oh, attacks and discovered it's checks um i mean this is where you could do with a good old time limit 40 moves in two and a half hours and yeah. 20, not here this is blitz just i guess on with it. i guess basically i guess white could just swap rooks and then just play a move like f takes here um oh, what's going on well, isn't this kind of like very safe? And then just put your king Probably. back. Just put your king back on. Yeah, because okay, he's got a d5. Can he go d5? I'm losing. Okay, you're probably right. And then put the king back. Can we give it a go though? D5 check. Let's see what happens. Yeah, then we go e5 with a blocker. Yeah. Um, so if basically black's king's all, it looks still looks much weaker than white's king. It does actually. There's not much going down here. What? So he could just play it solid, couldn't he? So he didn't need to do this really, did he? I don't think. When you say need, I mean, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, white's been better for a while, yeah, I mean, okay, white is, what, obviously, that, is that look, I mean, that this looks like a very solid option, yeah? Yeah. Um, white support, two pawns up. Two pawns um, up, you this, shouldn't they? Yeah, maybe black can go queen c5 and try and try his luck in the end game or something, maybe trying to exchange queens, maybe that's, yeah. No, but two okay. pawns is two sure. pawns, isn't it? But, he yeah, can just take and go king f4 and wander his king and Kanu, maybe? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But, so anyway, we had this move c5 check. And this yeah. is, I don't know whether we should could dare analyze this anymore, basically. But if we just... Um, let's get, let's let's get to the exciting bit, yeah. So queen, so this is... So queen... So it seemed like Richard had a, a whole series of only moves, didn't he? It really, like it, didn't it? Yeah. So in this position here, um, we could... Take point, we can put that variation in, shall we? Rook takes rook. That's obviously what yeah. people wanted to look queen at. Takes and then, then pawn to d7. Then we thought the check, queen b8, was the only move, yeah. we think. And then he has got to, well, he hasn't got to. He's just, he's got to um, escape it. And, and to be honest with you, I don't, there's thing immediate for white after queen d8 then. So, which is very similar to what we got in the game, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Right. I think, I think, I think, I think, he, could go, I think he could go f5 for what it's worth, but does that really 
I know there's a check. Oh, no, oh, my word, I can't figure that out. Maybe Queen G5 check. Well, F5, F5 Bishop F7, the game goes on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, uh, what, what I did, I think, was more... This was actually a stronger move, I felt, because after Bishop F7, this is where white, we looked. This is where white could... Oh, this is the B3, rook takes B3. Yeah. This looked quite good, yeah. didn't And it? then, basically, but why black can't do actually... This? Black can't actually recapture on B3 because um, the queens come off and then the, then the pawn promotes. Yeah. So, but uh, Black's got a very clever move. You can actually just move the queen. The question is, where do we move it? We, did you say queen D8? Queen D8, yes. Yeah. And now that means the queen and the rook are skewered and there's no check on G5. Yeah, which is critical. So that's why Black has to play queen D8. But we were analysing the move queen D1, yeah? Yep, to keep that rook protected. And the point is... If bishop takes rook, then queen takes this check. Yeah. After which you've got to think that white's got a winning queen endgame. Yeah. Two pawns up, sure. Two pawns up, and this pawn is very strong. Maybe queen e6 next. Um, albeit yeah. there's always a small chance of some perpetual checking for black, but yeah. probably not in that position. So the question is after uh, queen d1. Does he have anything else? This well, is... the, the other other option is, I guess, is queen g5 check. Yeah. Yep. But does that lead anywhere, or am I am I missing something? King H two. No, because if we ever take that rook, is always going to be with check, so we don't get some queen e one to h four perpetual, do we? No, so that's, that's going to be crucial thing. The fact is check, yeah. Oh, on queen h six check, king g one. There's no check on. Oh, queen h five check is interesting because we've got. We want to check on c five. Yeah, and we're going to keep we're going to keep going for those checks. Oh, that's quite crafty. We've got to be careful Very here, actually, because the last round starts in a few minutes, and just oh, time, okay. time seems to be our one forty-five. Yeah, so we could check. So this is a crazy game. Um, just out of interest, so I think it was, I, maybe this was a key moment, and then the end of the game was we saw what happened. But I, I was interested. I think those end games would have been winning actually. But in fact, he did it very craftily, Richard. To be honest with you, like he said, kept giving a lot of checks. He went yeah. from being down on time to up on time. Yeah, we could head off. Should we head off and see what the pairings are for the next? Yeah, game? let's have a look, shall we? So, uh, are they now up number let five. Me, let me let me reload. Reload. Okay, reload. no, they're not actually up yet. Maybe that's because there's a there was a late finish. Ah. So the I think the round is due to start at one forty five round six. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Sorry, my mistake. I should click on round six, shouldn't I? Round six always. There happens. we go. So you here we go. Play, so round it's, five um, still the same as it was. Yes, before. exactly. So we've got Dong against Richard Pertz. Of course, this um, has thrown the tone open completely now, though, hasn't and, it? This is really good. against uh, Brandon Clark, right? Wow, so, that's uh, some tasty and Harry Green, who did win that game. Yeah, uh, against yeah. Matthew Payne. So we've actually got four players on four out of five. Yeah, two yeah. players on three and a half, and then a group of six on three. All of which is to be honest, all those six, all those players, all top six, all top six boards. They're in. They're still in with a shout, aren't they? I wonder. In the event of a tie, do they do a playoff or something? That would be. I don't know if that's something. Um, that be yes. Now I must admit, I haven't checked. <laughs> yeah, 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 how we do. <laughs> but my feeling is, looking from other tournaments, my feeling is that the first tie break. Yeah. I don't know if anyone on chat is there. Uh, knows about this but i, I think the first sorry, time I break i have to say sorry john i haven't been checking the chat if anyone's been saying anything when honestly we're not ignoring you we're so engrossed with the actual thing yeah um can you see the chat can we end can we see the china i'm supposed to be able to see you should be able to see the chat chris because you can't be quite now. get it yeah there's a there's a little bit there i can see it. i'm sorry we've got i've gone uh i've gone on to Okay, you've gone on to nobody, nobody's saying anything. Sorry. Nobody's saying anything. Okay, well, don't yeah. have to say anything, anybody. You don't have to say what okay. can they pay attention? Right, let's, go, let's go back. Let's go back Brilliant. to the scores now. Basically, yeah, uh, I think I've got a feeling that the first tie break in an event of a two player tie is the individual game, right? Okay, um, and um, let me have a look at this. Let me have a look at the uh cross table. Ah, oh, will that tell us who's. So tie break, I think this TB1, let's have a look. TB1 is direct encounter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if... Um, Which means that puts Richard Pert in a good position. At and the I'm sorry, yeah. In fact, let's, uh, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this one. This is a better one to look at. Yeah. Okay. So Brandon Clark is leading at the moment on tie break two, which is a Buchholz, a typical Buchholz tie break. Um, in fact, there's lots of different, yeah, lots of different various Buchholz tie breaks. Right. I mean, generally, they're Buchholz tie breaks to, to do with um, your opponent's score, aren't they? Yeah. So, um, whoever Good. Has wow. Yeah. Okay, so, we've got two games to go. So, maybe we could reassess after the next, the next should, round. Yeah. Let's, have a look, be... let's um, look at the... Uh... 
the game. So are they underway? Yeah. Are they, shall, yeah. I re- shall I reload? Yeah, go for it, John. I'm looking forward to these games now. This should be a full... Uh, no. Oh. Nothing much. No, they, they haven't started yet. So, of course, it's not It's not quite one forty-five yet. Um, it's only one minute. Uh, but one game has started. Oh, uh-huh. okay, good. Yeah, let's just check out again. Game off, yeah. So oh, this, oh, yeah. oh, 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 my so word. We're going to see, see, see Gambit style chess. Brilliant. Yeah, Henry now Rich, Shara Rich is an expert on what's the, what's the name of this um, Gambit? Henning Shara Gambit. The Henning Shara Gambit. Yeah. But they're on. Yeah. There aren't how many? Yeah, there are. There are a few gambits against the Queen's Gambit, aren't there? Of course, Albin right? Counter Gambit, of course. Yeah. The uh, uh, not that many. Though. There aren't so <laughs> many compared to like uh, compared to E forty five openings. But not many. The black the gambits, is it? The no. Latvian Gambit, maybe. Is the Elephant Gambit ready? Gambit? Oh, the black's got a few more gambits in the E forty five openings, even though some of them aren't called gambits. For example, there's the two nice defense knight g five. That's oh, yeah, okay, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Gambit for black as well. Okay, well, 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 what's going on? C5, C, D, D, Queen, D, Knight, C, C. Really? So they've turned into kind of an IQ peeper. So he didn't. Oh, I see. Uh, so he hasn't. Um, Dong didn't no. actually capture the pawn. So he's just played. Uh, okay. He just <laughs> wants to say, I'm going to maybe take the pawn about move 30 when it suits no, me. Don't take it now because you'll be losing <laughs> your queen. <laughs> so we've got a typical IQ P. Um, but H3 isn't going to help when it comes to taking the pawn, is it? Because there'll be a bishop H2 check or a bishop B4 check. So H3, that seems... All, this is all a bit weird, isn't it, here? Uh, well, I, I'm not H3, sure I quite like black already, actually. Yeah, uh, it's just a typical IQP, I guess. Um, I mean, the, the idea of H3 is to stop, stop something from G4, G4, maybe bishop yeah. G4, yeah. Okay. Um, but to be honest with you, it's not strictly necessary because our bishops... We actually want exchanges. So if bishop G4, we'd probably, we could actually move the knight and then try and get some exchanges. That's, what, that's the, the value of having the bishop on E2. Right, so the question is, what is Richard going to play? He could just play natural moves like rook e8. He could play a6 to stop knight b5. Yeah, I think all these will, yeah. Those moves will probably appear over the night. Bishop f5, yeah, that's fine hmm. as well. Yeah, a3. So white's going to probably go for b4. Black can play moves like rook e8, a6. And maybe bishop c7 and queen, queen d6. d6. That's what you think of white yeah. castles king. Yeah, yeah. But he's obviously delaying Castle's King side for the moment, and he's prioritised A3. That's interesting. Is he really keeping the is he keeping his options open for G4? Do you think that'd be radical, wouldn't it? Um, and is it maybe? Yeah. For, I mean, he wouldn't have thought so if the bishop hadn't gone to F5. That's the irony. I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't know. We'll 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 see. Should we look at another game? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, move on to board two. Let's have a look at. Um, uh, Pesci Pesci against uh, uh, Brandon Clark. Whoa! Uh, what an uh, what. Should we have a look at what yeah, actually this for, was? Let's go through the moves. This is this was like a, uh, a wow. bishop b five Sicilian with a knight on c three. Actually, quite a trendy line. It's been quite a trendy line, especially in England oh, for quite a while. Quite a yeah. while, yeah, yeah. Knight b knight f three. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, okay, so I suppose this we we need to comment on this move, bishop d three, don't we? Basically, that's. <laughs> you know, I mean, basically, of course, because I've seen it so many times in this line, I, I, I sometimes forget it should be commented on. Shouldn't it? I mean, obviously, it's blocking in the bishop. But the trouble is, if you if you move it to c four, then it, it it runs into b five ideas. As it would and, do, on, um, as it would do on a four, by the way. Yeah, exactly. And if you go, if you go back to, um, if you go back to e two, the the problem is, is that what White's trying to do with bishop d three, White wants to actually exchange knights and then bring this other knight to e two, and then possibly to g three, and on e two attacks the pawn. So this is this is White's plan. So this is why bishop d three is played, um, so that White can carry this idea. And in fact, that's what exactly what happened in the game, isn't mm. it? Yeah. And um, okay. Whoa. And we got to uh, okay. Uh, obviously, we could have looked a bit more at the theory of that line, but let's just look at the uh, position. That looks like uh, quite a good move, knight g4. Um, that looks a very uh, yes, indeed. I like that as well. Yeah, isn't isn't black really have, have... So notice white is really keen not to lose a bishop for a knight. Rightly mm. so, an open board like this. So this I is quite very like very satisfactory black. for I quite black. Like position, yeah. yeah, I, like I mean, black. black's gained a lot of space already. Uh, easy to forget that white can't castle. Um, and um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with black's position at all. So ironically, just when it originally it looked as though he might be going king to c2, now it looks more like f3 and king f3. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's, I, I like that. That's a good move. He had king, to go there. The king's actually going to be very well. Now, now at least the bishop's on g7, it won't be on the c5 diagonal, so he's going to be quite happy on f2. 
So, yeah, yeah. so even though this is fine for black, it's, it's not actually, I mean, it's not bad Well, for one of the problems is the, the, the F, pawn being on F5 controls E4, but it does conceive one or two squares like that. F4 square looks a bit tastier for white now, doesn't it? So King C, King F2, and then maybe I put a piece on like a knight or a bishop on F4 at some stage. Let's move on. Right. Let's, let's okay. have a look at um, Harry Greve against Matthew Payne. Oh, now this looked like... Oh, um, what's going on with that F5 square? This looks some sort of like uh, sort of Warning. close. Well, oh, A3 was the actual opening. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we transposed it to some sort of close, not closed. Well, I don't know what you'd call it, really. Sort of a King's Indian attack with F4. A3, G6, F4. Well, there you go. Yeah. You so, only okay. see that sort of thing in England. Right. Now, right. What's interesting about this is this move on, uh, on move nine, or move 10, rather, for white. This idea of f5 is a very nice idea. Yeah. And the point being, after takes, of course, white could recapture, but that would give away the center. So, what Harry Grease done, very nice move, move knight h4. It's a very nice move. It is a typical idea in these sort of positions, but it's a very nice positional pawn sacrifice where you keep uh, control of um, center squares, but also now you've opened up the rook and the knight's got this lovely square here. So, f5. It's all about the f5 square, really. Yeah. Okay, but. Knight c5 looks normal, yeah, to um, to allow the bishop to get into the game. But obviously now we could obviously so bishop move, like, g5, bishop g5 yeah. now looks good. This look, this looks this looks this looks fun for white. What's he going to do? He's got to do something with his knight. Then what's he planning on doing? Just dropping it back to e8 or something? Probably knight e8, I guess. Yeah. But then obviously queen h5 comes and yeah, yeah, it's good compensation, but nice positional pawn yeah. sacrifice. Should we have a look at um? We'll have a look at uh, Keith, who's playing against Schlock Verma. Whoa! Yeah, he's a, one of our junior players. Yeah. So this, okay, so um, looks like a pretty sort of heavyweight battle here, yeah? So uh, both sides have got doubled bishops. Oh, yeah. Am I allowed to say bishops' pawns? Am I allowed you to can, say that? I think even in this day and age, you can say bishops' pawns. Yeah. Okay. So, um... <laughs> Queen's bishops' pawns and king's bishops' pawns. Okay, five, so... And it's often the case here, you use that isolated rook's pawn to challenge your opponent's structure. So it keeps looking to play h4 at some stage, possibly. Mm. But okay. And, and likewise, obviously, uh, Schlock... Why well, go a4, a5, a5. Yeah, yeah. And then if he does, if he does play a4, Keith has that big decision to make. Whether Could he go a5 him, himself? A5, yeah. Which would mean that White's pawn on a4 is... Um, Weak as would be the black pawn on b6. Exactly, a double weakness. Now, double Chris, weakness. what do you reckon? Should um, What do you reckon about the move d5? D yes or no? Five. Oh, the problem is, ideally, you like to keep the tension in these sort of positions. And putting a pawn on d5 is another pawn stuck on the same color as your bishop. Yeah. I don't like it, really. Yeah. But he's gone e4. I, I, oh, okay. That's yeah. interesting. You put actually. a different pawn on a white square. Yeah. I mean, you're thinking maybe f4 would be more like the one to move. I'm a, bit, a little bit nervous about that because I think black might go f5. I, I, maybe, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'd have kept my pawn on e3, and uh, maybe I'd have probably gone a a4. I'd have probably just tried that, I guess. Mm. Okay, so Keith's taken, and now he's actually having a bit of a think. Is he thinking about maybe rook takes? Yeah. Uh, so hang on. So uh, Schlock has got the white pieces. Yeah, yeah maybe rook takes. So. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I prefer ideally not to have so many pawns fixed on white squares, but yeah. Probably, uh, Okay, rook takes. Yeah, maybe rook takes is okay, and then and then you go bishop f five, just drop your rook back. Um, he might be going pawn to f five. Oh, then rook. Can we go rook h four? Yeah, I don't know. Rook we can still we can still drop our rook back. When the, the, basically, um, yeah, yeah bishop f five is the move back. I thought because um, black might have this move bishop c two at some stage and then try and win a pawn on d four. That's what no, I'm he's got a lot of things, yeah, he's got a lot of things protecting that pawn, doesn't he? Attacking that pawn, rather. Yeah. Two pawns and a knight. What's it yeah, I'm a bit thing? nervous about that. Rookie two. Yeah. That's the only uh, well, but okay, it might only be a temporary... Um, uh, well, that was necessary, wasn't inconvenience. it? Inconvenience. I don't think white, I don't think white's too worried if there's lots of exchange at the moment, because that'll just open up the rook against that d-pawn. So this tension's still what white wants. White, does, white doesn't really want to swap that pawn off, or certainly doesn't want to go d5. No. Um, should we let's let's move on. So here we got Chris Duncan with the black pieces against uh, Jay Cranston. Um, this looks like what was this? A, oh, this is a Slav defense. What's going on here, Chris? Um, 
Um, yeah, he's got to go C. I think he's got to go C5 either now or at some point. Yeah. Didn't black. Otherwise, if that pawn had got stuck on C6, it would have been a target. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Now, what's going on here, though? Can he, is that B4 pawn going to be an issue? Or how do we... What's going on? Is that complicated? Can he go, he can go knight takes, can't he? Because bishop B4, knight D3 is a kind of... He has yeah. done it, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, he could have actually gone queen takes, I guess, couldn't he, if you want to save the pawn. But knight takes, he's, yeah, I think that's a fair, that's a reasonable um, pawn sacrifice if um, bishop B4. Yeah, I think bishop so. Takes B4, then knight to uh, D3. And then um, queen takes D3. Yeah, that's definitely good compensation. He's oh, he's done it, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's I see what it, happens. Yeah, I think this is good. This it's is good, good compensation, but... Um, mm -hmm. So it's going queen, oh, but he can't go queen c3. That's the point to note because it takes takes bishop b4 again, reloading. So he's gonna, yeah. have, he's gonna end up with a two bishops advantage. So queen yeah. d2, queen d2, black can play a move queen like that. Um, can we go queen takes b3? Oh, yeah, I think actually I've just um, oh, oh that no, that's a dreadful blunder, dreadful blunder. So actually, oh, let's just see, no. is it possible to avoid losing a whole rook? Can we go king d2 here, and or is that just uh, Rook c8. Rook c8, bishop c4. He's got to go bishop c4 here, yeah. Or he can go rook c1, but, you know. Uh, okay, so maybe if you can keep the bishop on c4. Oh, uh, no, rook, c, rook c1, rook, uh, rook fd8. Oh, he's taken, okay. And now rook c8, I guess. And then bishop c4. Bishop c4. I was just wondering whether a black could have got even more than he's getting. Am I, unless I'm missing something, is there? So what did you want him to do to do? How did you want know, him to some do sort of, Some sort of um, rook d8 a bit earlier. And if bishop d3, then I don't know. Maybe, maybe he didn't have anything. It looked... Presumably this is comfortably. So what can he, he can just, so if bishop c, can he go bishop e6? And what's going on here? Feels as though it's just going to be a b, bishop, b, bishop e6, king c2. And he's, bishop takes c3, king takes c3. And yeah, should rook, be winning. rook against a knight. Should, of course, it should be winning. But yeah, but we've seen, you know, he's got um, to do it, hasn't he? He's got to do it. King c two, or king d three, maybe. Now, uh, uh, king, he's got to go. King, yeah, he's king c two. He's got to move his king. Yeah, yeah. Should we? Uh, let's go. Let's let's move on. Uh, that's going to be a technical ending, which Black should win. So, um, this Whoa. is Frankie Berlusconi against Agorasimos Giacos. What was this? This is a Trompowski. Problem with the Trompowski, you often end up giving up the bishop pair very early, as Julian Hodgson pointed out once I haven't played it for several yeah. years. Yeah, don't play, the, don't play the Trompowski if you don't like to give up the bishop pair. <laughs> so, okay. um, last move was rook from c4 to a4. It feels, uh, unless, uh, Mm. I don't know. Well, if he, I mean, obviously, if he can, obviously, he's got his a two point to consider. But if he can go knight f three to e, yeah, d two. Yeah, yeah two, three, I got knight. a feeling that. Um, I mean, we we don't want to. Well, I don't think we want to allow bishop takes d four, do we? I'm wondering whether we should just give up the a pawn and go knight from um, d two to d f three. Yeah. Okay. So then the acid test. Can I just get away with just lopping off that a two pawn? Oh, it's allowing me to do it actually. I think it oh. does. I think it does allow you to do it. And it doesn't mm -hmm. allow me to do that though. Unless he's actually has he actually played that. Maybe, maybe played that. I don't he know. hasn't played it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, stop giving him ideas. You're well, playing the move for him. Okay, rook takes a two. Right. I'm gonna try that again. It allows me to do that. I oh, can do one. Oh, see, it says your guess. I oh, see. I'm actually guessing. Oh, uh -huh. guess the moves. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're doing after, so well with guessing moves. You got 100 percent on that last. Yeah, but one. after that, you can't keep going. Okay, fair okay. enough. Fair enough. I so mean, it's worth finding that bishop takes knight here would lose a piece. Oh no, it wouldn't. That's a complete lie. I just made that up. Right. It might, so be, it might even be the best. Might at the some stage. So, but let's yeah. just have a look. Yeah. Okay. Well, look on a two. He's picked up a pawn here, John. It has. Yeah. Okay. Um. So what about so? Ah. Oh. So that could have been a second pawn. So if g5 instead of knight e5 check, then he could take on d4 and whip off the b2 pawn as well. He gets a duff bishop, but there's two pawns. It's two pawns, isn't it? Hmm. Sure, sorry, Chris, what was that variation? Sorry, I'm saying if instead of knight e, 
Does he? Uh, that's your guess, not e5. Is that right? It is, yeah. But let's go back to the position. Let's see if we can do a different move instead of. So this is instead of knight e5 chair. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. If you could do something different. Rook takes a2, and then basically, I'm, I think I'm now I've guessed knight e5. I'm. St oh, he's gone rook e2. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. So show me that. Tell me what that variation was. Actually, you're talking about. So rook takes a2. What was the line you were thinking of? Um, no, I was just. It was ridiculous speculation about. Oh, was it g5 or something? But I think you can't give away so many pawns. I don't think that can be good. Okay. So I um, think, yeah, so I think this is a... Uh, Let's, a uh, couple, yeah. couple of, uh, I'm just having a look at some games here. Uh, let's have a look at this one and then we'll go, and then we'll go back to... Uh, uh, Whoa, what's going on here? So who, this is... So this, uh, is uh, this is uh, Pavel Morawski is... Uh, with the white, white pieces. Again, against Chavez Ali. So why is a piece down for one, two, three, four, five, six, two pawns, two but he's pawns, yeah. queen lodged on e6. But is that good? I'm not sure that's good enough, that. Oh, is it because he can well, grudge it with bishop c8 anytime soon? Yeah, I guess um, well, white needs to get this knight in the game. I think knight e4. I mean, basically, just, just the queen and rook aren't going to be enough. I don't, I can't see this working. He's got those pawns, but I just don't see this work. But 94 looks like the best bet, doesn't it? Attack 94, okay. So then if I, okay. Oh, so you want more pawns? Well, no. it, it's not just the pawn. It's just having the... Having the having no, the, I, mean, I agree. I think he has to go... Uh, what, what else can he do other than 94? Yeah. And if bishop c8, queen c, then queen d6. Queen d6, yeah. That's and the game, con game continues. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. I mean, we will then have three pawns, and it's black's not, it's nothing obvious that black's, you know, black still has to consolidate. I do like, I mean, okay, every, um, white is a piece down, but what I do like is the king. That's that's about the best possible king safety you can ever have, isn't it? Yes. That's very yeah, yeah. nice. That is pretty rock solid. <laughs> yeah. And. If the white dis white might have queen h3 when there's no rook h7 coming, so he might sneak a little threat. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go back to uh, the top boards. Let's go back to board one, and this is um. Oh, all that happened. Oh, a6 never happened. But he did align the old queen and bishop down towards mm. a. White did castle, and now what? Wait a minute, what's going on here? So white's last move was to move knight from f3 to e5, which um. Is actually it's actually unsafe there, of course. Good. However, the white's also attacking this um, oh, bishop. So, so Rich is that this is definitely a critical part of the game, isn't it? This so is I guess clever. what um, what do you say the black candidate moves are, Chris? Well, okay, so there's obviously rook, there's the, honestly I'm telling you there's so many candidate moves here. What would be, like, be the five? What would be the top? three check? Bishop takes e two, rook takes e five. All those yeah. sort of things, aren't they? I would say the top of the list would be bishop takes e2. Next one would be rook takes e5, I suspect, yeah? Mm, yeah. And then then you might start also consider some unsafe candidate moves, um, which still might be very strong. Um, he has gone rook takes e5. So the question is, obviously, now white's two options are bishop takes e5 and um, bishop takes h5. It, so what... Bishop takes e5, queen takes e5, bishop takes h5. If, if, sorry, if he goes bishop takes h5, then rook takes, knight takes h3 must be possible, mustn't it? Yeah, sure. So he's got to go bishop takes e5. And what's black going to do then? Well, it can't go f4 because a queen takes e3 check. No, so. no. What's black going to do after bishop takes e5? He's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Queen takes and then, and then bishop takes e5, yeah? Yes. So then there's still knight takes h3 if he wants it, but... So obviously in that position, white's actually material up, white's exchange up, and black could either go knight takes h3. Yeah. Or white black could go queen h2 check, king f1, and then and then go queen h1 check, and then take on g2. Mm. So let's just visualize this. Bishop takes e5, queen yep. takes e5. Bishop takes h5. Oh, he's done. Oh, wow. he's taken that, yeah. Now that, okay, that, amazing. Well, it's not so amazing, actually. No, no. When you say when I mean it's amazing, maybe me amazingly good. Because even in a lot of those little sneaky lines, even after the knight takes a G, all those the queen c six is obviously was going to come into play because it's attacking the bishop. It's attacking. Oh wow! But now, but what's going on? There's, there's a little check and a check and a check. He's going to have rook g one check and queen h two to h one, mate. Oh, let's see if it happens. That's amazing. Oh my word. So, so is white should white go king f1 here? Oh, he can He has to. He can't take that knight. It's a game over, isn't it? Rook g5 check. Let's have a look here. Yeah, rook, rook g5, g5 game oh, over. Oh, so of course we can't do it. That's my guess. Now rook yeah. g5, you, uh, rook g5. You do actually have bishop g4, and the game continues oh, slightly. Oh my gosh, did I miss? It's not quite mate, but uh, rook, rook, king, 
King F1 would be a lovely mate. Rook G1 check and then Queen H2 check and then Queen H1 mate. Wow. But why can play on? Bishop oh, G4. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, Bishop G4. Yeah, what's... So, hang on. <laughs> my gosh, suddenly where I thought that was game over. It's not game over. No. Or is it game over? It actually looks... It doesn't look very nice. But, okay, let's... So, do, we need to do this. Do we Rook G5, yeah? Should We've we go got... to that? Should we... I've got live analysis, so let's do it. Can we do live analysis? Yeah, we okay. can. So, yeah, so, so, so let's go play. here. Yeah, yeah, so Rook takes G5 check. So yeah. any move, so it's worth noting. So let's have a look at, let's just yeah, demonstrate that's this. Check juicy. on G1. Lovely oh uh, word, attraction nice. sacrifice and then a checkmate. That's very nice. But after uh, Rook G1. John, I love these words you're coming up with. An attraction sacrifice. Yeah. Attraction. I, I, find, I find any sacrifice attractive. Yeah. Right, so yeah. And obviously G4. King H1 was Queen H2 mate. So here's the key one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now the point is, I guess, after Queen takes Queen, if you do Queen takes Queen, Oh, why is just better then, isn't it? Yeah, I guess definitely. So we have to have something here. Yeah. Um, so we can take on G four and Queen or oh, Queen H two. Yeah, yeah. We've got to do checks, haven't we? Actually, That's yeah. Like... Check, and then we've got to give a check, haven't we? And then we basically, and we basically got to give a check. But I don't really see this for Black. Do you? Uh, I don't really see this working. Wait a minute. We don't have to go rook takes bishop straight away. We could just could we just check with the queen and then go rook c8 or something? I, th to be honest, I think we need to go back to the game. Should we go back to the game? Uh, okay. See what happens. Head, yeah. So head back. Yeah. So we're looking at the game. Uh, which game were we looking at? Well, uh, that this game one. Here. That one. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, so, wow. Word, this is so king f1 up. happened. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Then rook f5. Then he's getting mate. He's getting mate on F two, John. Yeah. So now he's taken a rook with check on the corner of the board. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and he's only got 30, 30 seconds left. E five. E four. Good move. Stops the mate. Taking F two. Very good move. Oh my word! There's back rank. Basically, mate. black can't black can't move the queen into the attack because the back rankers. So he's got one minute and fifty six. He's got to come up with something good here. He can't. Yeah. What is he actually? I think oh I think Rook C8 is happening as well. He's overdone it. He's, he's, he's well, I say really... overdone it. I think maybe just Queen takes C6 was a brilliant move. We'll see. Should we? Yeah. We need to invest. Well, we'll look at that one in the break, I reckon, John. But we'll, yeah. we'll look at that one Should in the we, break. Um, let's have a look at board one. Yeah, board one, obviously critical. Let's head back over there. If I can get there. Uh oh. Right. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, no. Yes. No, that's the one. Sorry, this is board one. Sorry, my mistake. Well, that is board one. That's board the creature. Yeah. Board two. Okay, so board two is um, uh, you can hand against uh, Brandon Clark, and we've got some technical end game. This could go on for a while, actually, couldn't it? Because you saw exactly the sort of position where both sides can make moves fairly quickly. Um, yeah. Well, okay. This is interesting though, because I tell, normally you'd say you prefer a bishop with pawns on both sides of the ball, but when the old blitz starts coming into play, you prefer to have the knights, don't you? These yeah. Things. Maybe I wonder how what what sort of value what added value would you give it to Knight in the Blitz? So it's you know if you well if you probably added up like a point extra point uh point two. Well, it depends what you kind of do. You start them with three each, or do you start the bishop at like three point three three? I think points. it's something like about isn't it like uh, when they did it? Didn't they say the bishop was three point five five and the knight's three point four five or something? Oh, probably. Like... <laughs> okay. so I reckon it's the swing goes point two. Let's swing it the other direction. In favor, yeah, I reckon. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, keep going. Nice. Yes. Should we have um? Should we have a look at uh? There was uh, looks like get board three is finished. Okay. Oh my word. Yeah. Okay, board three. And that looks G -G like against Harry oh, Grievous oh. won against Matthew Payne. This was the and this was remember this was that nice sacrifice the old F five. Oh, that positional right. masterpiece. Yeah, and it looked like it broke through. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, 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 we, was, maybe we should look at um have a look at that in in the break. Yeah, pretty the convincing yeah. final position there. Um, and let's maybe go on and um um look at the. Oh my word! What's what's happened here? He's get, Rich, he's still fighting. Oh, he's queen still, and knight, most deadly attacking combination. He's still fighting. But... So he's got to go king takes g. Is he, he's got to go king takes g6. Oh, he's done that. But I think I've got a horrible feeling. Can't he just go queen? So even White could even give his queen up for that knight. Actually. He could do, yeah. But then the game would continue. So queen d6 check would give it out for the knight at the very least, wouldn't it? Surely. 
Yeah, he's got. Yeah, he, he might have to do. He might be doing that by the looks of it. He has. <laughs> he, so well, why not? He, well, what a rock solid position you've got. It here. is, but I mean, basically, the very fact that Richard was able to sort of do to go that. Through, yeah. So let's just see what happens. So, okay, this is obviously really good for White, and the, the beauty of White's position now is it's rock solid, and he can start pushing those. Um, he might go Queen H two. He might go Queen H two. He's got to go Queen H two, and he's got to do. He's got to just keep going, just with the bare Queen. Yeah. Well, then maybe he'll go F three and just block it with his bishop, and then Black will try. Going H for H for yeah, that's what he's going. Going. it's going to take him about a okay. five. He's, he's, gone, gone, about, he's gone for defense. I don't think defense is necessarily the no, way, but forward. okay, let's just see how this this pans out. So, yeah, he's got oh, a, he's, changed. he's done a bit of each, he's got a bit of defense yeah. and a bit of attack. Is it going to be F3? It is. Oh, no, that's a good move, F3. Yeah, yeah, Queen H3. He's, he's got to go. Be, well, I, think, I thought he'd just go. Oh, he'd just right. go. He's trying to win that pawn. He's trying to win one of those pawns. Yeah, I thought it just. I, I thought it kept the bishop on d4 and gone king king f2, and then after king after king queen, and then king, king g1. g1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't was... think there's any need to even complicate it at all. No, I mean, it's complicated, but White's had to rearrange the pieces. No, he's still got reasonable uh, co coordination, though, hasn't he, with the two rooks there? In the yeah. Middle. Yeah, I, I'm afraid it's. He's going to just block it. He's going to go back there again. Come on, Richard, move your rooks, move your king side pawns. There we go. It's kind of predictable. It's lovely. It's kind of a certain predictability. Uh, I think he's going to go king g1 now. That's a good move. Just make it. Oh, that's yeah, and if he goes g5, he's going to open himself up to lawnmower checkmates. Yeah. But, okay. Oh, what about that? Isn't he after queen b1, he's going to have to no, go he's back. gaining some time. How much? Oh, yeah. Really? This seemed a bit unnecessary. But anyway, there's not that much going down, is there? Well... At some moment, I mean, what I mean, Richard's doing the best he can. I and mean, basically, at least he, at least what he's doing is stopping those pawns from, from advancing. advancing. Yeah, yeah. And basically, if this is what you should always do, you have you should force your opponent to win the games. Basically, you know, make them make the best moves to try and win the games, and that's all you can do really when you've got a totally lost position. Even there, Queen F five again, still can't move the still can't move the A pawn. Yeah. Yeah. He could, of course, just take that. He could have taken that pawn on a7, couldn't he? Yeah. With his bishop. Now is, that no, would have been one way okay. to make sure that he could move it. So here we go. So basically now... We're going to be a bishop d4 type thing. There's sure. No checks. Yeah. And then black will go h3 and try his luck, yeah? <laughs> try his luck <laughs> where? Where is he going to try his luck next? Uh, okay, so let's see. He's going to go h3, isn't he, like you say. Oh, queen f4. Really? Well, it does attack the um, no, but if king oh, no. has got bishop b3, no, bishop b3, bishop b3 is game over. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, fair enough. Yeah, well played by Dong there, did that very, very well. Probably um, opening things up. actually, that's an amazing tactical game. If we have time, we could possibly revisit that. Although, we've got let's have a look at um, it's got a backlog um, of things to look at, John. Here we have, we on? have got a very backlog. Well, uh, is that all the games over? Is that no, oh, it's not. It's board oh, uh, two. I don't know if it is board two, but anyway, this is um, uh, wow. Brandon Clark with the black pieces against uh, you can hand. Uh, uh, oh, and out is an out. Oh, what's going on here? This is looking it's looking like, black now, yeah. you better for black now. So, but if white, yeah. white might struggle to give his knight out for that uh, April, yeah. right? Not, yeah. So white, one white drawing try for white is to get his king back into this corner, and then give up the knight for the um, h pawn. Yeah. Um, it actually, it looks like to me, to be honest with me, it looks like the most difficult thing is actually getting the king back in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's trying to do. But King B3? It's not going to be easy, is it? Oh, he's corralled that knight now for the time. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah, the only yeah, way. That yeah. That knight is being horribly corralled, isn't it? Yeah. But okay, so he's. Bishop C4, keeping the cor corralling going. Then King C2, yeah. Bishop F7, similar sort of thing, yeah. So can we go King C2? Or is the black actually going to win that knight? Mm, this is the big question, isn't it? Can he just come on? Can he go to King C5? King C5 is coming. He's yeah. going to win it. He's going to win it. That knight's a goner. It Corralling is. was the order of the day. It is. That's Problem. very well played. I think you can, play. you can chop a few points off the value of that knight right now, John. Yep. Oh, no. Well played. Very well played by Black. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, why bishops are better than knights in end games. So he's going to try knight a8. He's gone for it. <laughs> he's gone for it. But he's even got the wrong colour rooks pawn. That's the problem now, isn't he? He needed to swap off the h pawn, not the a pawn. Yeah. 
Well, that was a very good end game play by Brandon right. Clark. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, I think that's all the games finished. So um, I think actually the scoreboard. I'm just have a quick look at the score, but I doubt it actually um, Update, uh, updates. But let's have a look. I'll reload it and see what happens. Nothing much is happening. So what we'll do? Let's have a, let's have a look at some of the games again. Uh, which game should we start? We've got with? to do the Richard Pearl one, surely, haven't we? we? Have Around about the time Queen takes C6. Occurred. Okay, yeah. So let's have a look at. We'll go to live analysis. So that yeah. Oh, how did Keith? Oh, did Keith convert that game against Stock? Did, did he? He did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So we'll go to the position where this this is critical position. Typical yeah. Okay. IPP. Um, White's managed to got a lot of pressure against this pawn, but Black's kingside attack looks very strong. Um, in fact, if we just look at this position a bit earlier, obviously the, he went for this lineup with the queen and the bishop, mm. and he can take on f3. Um, but what White's banking on is the fact that after bishop takes, the king can actually escape via e2. So that doesn't really help Black a great deal. No. Um, so that's why Richard just kept things going and put the rook into the attack as well. And this is where we had this position with knight g5. Now, if white goes knight takes g5, then queen h2 and queen h1's mate. Mm. So they got this has got amazing. This is where this is where the crazy I mean, tactics come, don't they? Yeah, I mean, queen takes c6 might have been a possibility here. Am I missing something? Oh no, knight takes f3 check and queen h2 check. Let's just look yeah. at that. Yeah, that's a knight. Well, that's a good trick to start off with. Yeah. Queen h2 check with a winning the back. queen laterally. Yes, yeah, exactly. good. So, so this is where um, Don played the move uh, knight e5, and well, and suddenly things got really crazy. And not just that, after rook takes, he played move queen takes c6. Mm. So we were looking, we were analyzing bishop takes e5, weren't we? Yeah, um, yeah, we were. And then bishop takes h5. And also, I wasn't sure what was happening there. Even obviously, uh, white would exchange up, but black would have good, very good attacking chances. Um, and if not a winning position, I didn't see anything immediate for black there. But anyway, queen takes c6 happened. And suddenly, mm. the amount of pieces that black has got on pre here. Or uh, attack, I think there's only actually one. There's actually an, Two bishops and two rooks for starters. Yeah, there's only actually one black piece that isn't attacked if you don't if discounting pawns, and that's the knight on g5. Hmm. Every and other piece is and, that, and, that, and that's the one that he gives away. Yeah. <laughs> so um okay, knight wow. And knight h3. Well, okay. Um we've got to assume that, for example, if he swaps queens, even though white's temporarily a piece down. Yeah, because he's gonna he's gonna have a little pawn full f four at the end as well to see, win, isn't he? Is black? Can you see anything for black here? No, I mean, no. takes c seven's a threat. E, bishop no, takes no. e five because even the rook against two pieces would probably be good for white here because extra pawns. Um, so bishop e two. Bishop e two. Yeah, bishop let's one. say. I mean, for example. Okay, let's just. What should we just recapture? Okay. Then rookie seven. Oh, rookie seven. Rookie seven keeps things going, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So bishop takes e two. Or well, does it actually? How many? Oh yeah, yeah, it does because he's got knight e six as a bit of a defender as yeah, well. Yeah. So okay. So I wonder. Maybe this is a rook takes c seven. Maybe yeah. Right. That leaves a few things on prees. Yeah, for sure. That might yeah, be yeah, yeah. That might be better. Now, um, knight e six is that? No, knight e six. Bishop, oh, bishop e takes five. e5. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So basically, um, I mean, black could try knight f3 check here, I guess. And then rook g5 check and bishop takes f3. But that's just better for white anyway. Yeah. Okay, so that's good for white, that. Uh, so he's played this move, made move knight takes h3. And this is where this, uh, this amazing line, rook check. Um, bishop g4, Baden, oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, that would be rook g1. Checkmate yeah. line, yeah. yeah. Uh, we noticed that in this position that after um, rook g5 check, white actually had this resource here. And unless there's some... Okay, okay. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> there's probably people looking at it with an engine at home. So what are these two jokers talking about? Yeah. But, um, but let, yeah, this is... But did this did seem good? Did we think this was good for white, didn't we, after this? I couldn't actually see it. Queen a8 here. So what does black play here after bishop g4? Queen h2 check, king f1. Well, he could 
it could try that and then make a move. Well, okay, so what's the pawn count? Is that even relevant? Oh, oh yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe he does that and then what? The trouble is... And then can he go rook c8 after that? Because bishop yes. g4, there's rook g1 Amazing. Mate. Amazing. Let's try yeah. you mean basically queen check. You, need to, you, yeah. you don't want to swap queens. No. And then this position, you could rook obviously... If, if rook move... Obviously, queen takes rook's a huge threat. Um, if queen checks on h1, we just go to e2. Um, if you move the rook anywhere, we take the bishop. But he could actually go rook c8. Hmm. Even though the rook is on prees, why dare take it? Because then this bishop is in the game. We do have a mate. Two mates. Rook g1, queen g1, queen g1, g1 three g1. mates. Four g1. mates. Queen g2. Lots of mates. Lots of mates. And meanwhile, I guess black's actually just threatening rook takes g4, followed by um, bishop yeah, takes g4 I mean, and mate. Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. Although... Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah, brilliant. that's that certainly yeah, for real. Well, I mean also I just thought about something here. Although there could be cra there could be crazy moves there, Jot. Could there be like Bishop E five? I don't even want it. It's even too complicated to think. Is Bishop oh, five a possible? Sorry, let's go back to that position after that, that would be completely and utterly nuts, would it? Oh well Bishop E five here. Yeah. You're trying to break some sort of lines of communication, yeah. Yeah. Breaking um, lines of communication. And what happens if I take with a rook? Oh, I hadn't actually considered that for a communication breakdown at all. Yeah, that seems to be. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Actually, yeah. that was the one capture I didn't consider. But that's good, John. Yeah. Well, what's your idea? If I, if I took the queen, you could do a bishop takes well, rook. Well, yeah, bishop takes rook and then come back come back to g4 next time around. Okay. Well, I'm yes. threatening queen e8, mate, of course. Okay. So, all right. So, um, I yeah. So, king f1 looks as though it might be the job. Do the job even more, just as well as. So, here, he played rook f5. I'm wondering... Well, either we, either there wasn't anything, or he missed this e4 move. One of the two things happened here, didn't it? Yeah, so. I'm wondering. Obviously, we've got possibly bishop takes e2 check that should be considered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is white just simply going to take back with the rook? Well, he could take either way, could he not? Well, if he takes with the king, though, I guess black's got knight f4 as a possible check at least. Yeah. Okay. Take with the rook. Take with the rook. But... Yeah. Um, let's take with the rook. And now again, basically, White's well, still threatening lots of different things. The main thing is Queen takes Rook. So this yeah. this this looks this doesn't look right for Black, does it? Well, hang on. Okay, so you've got to take on C six again, and then okay, but then yeah. you're going to White's going to hang on H three, isn't it? Yeah, and all endings are going to be good for White, even if it's level material. The the fact that White's got this Queen side pawn majority and really active Rooks. So we might get that. We could get that one. Could we Rook E seven G H? And then some grovelly move. And then you'd probably got to stop. The problem is you can't even do bishop b6 because you've got to stop the back rank checkmate. Then you can't take that a3 pawn. Is that right? After bishop b6 takes, takes, takes. Yeah, but the trouble is it feels like you have to swap those. This bishop's such a strong piece. Um, I'm wondering, can you do that? Let's try it. Oh. So you're trying to swap the bishop off because white's bishop's such a strong piece. So takes, takes. And you can't take here because of mate, but can you go here? Well, hang on, it's rook takes b6. Rook takes b6. Can you go rook here? Yeah, you could do. You could, yeah. Mind you, it's a good end game. He could go rook e a2 possibly here. Could it? This be a yeah, weird yeah. And, and then and then some. We need to get our um, king f8 maybe. Yeah. Right, and then uh, uh, again, rook e6 with some sort of technical rook. Yeah, black, I think this is it probably is, black's going to take his chances in this game. Chance it? It's also very possible that white can um, even keep the white maybe keep both rooks on sort of stuff because the double rook ending it might be even more difficult for black to defend mm -hmm. yeah, a rook yeah. Can come okay that's again, that's too technical really isn't it so let's look at rook f5 and um i think after this but we we missed some of the game didn't we and yeah so, so white was just taking everything yeah <laughs> That's oh, amazing. but my having said that, oh, you've got to say he gave it a good shot, though, didn't he? Uh, I mean, that was so creative because actually, it Bishop looks Jesus, like... is that the only move here? Well, that's a good question. I that's think a it's very the only good move. Oh, he's unlucky then, isn't he, Richard? If that's the case. <laughs> Well, this queen takes d5. Oh, no, it's not queen takes d5. Mate on h1 seems to be threatened. No. Two different mates well, to stop. Okay. 
Well, we we saw it from here, didn't we? And yeah. Wow. What a move, that Bishop G six yeah. check. That was a that was a great game actually from both players. Really, King F one. Unless there was something else, but possibly there wasn't after King F one. But I did feel that he was. Yeah, he obviously went wrong somewhere, and then at some stage, didn't he? Well, really? maybe not. Maybe basically, maybe it's possible the attack simply doesn't work, and in which case he had to play a bit more cautiously early. Earlier you know? on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if, but it's difficult when you have got the IQP. Sometimes, like I said, even though. It's, he might have just played the best moves practically. It's just that it's just that um, White found the best defenses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair play, basically. Wow. Um, so we should we just? How we do, we're doing we're about six minutes doing, before oh, the we've got six minutes. Yeah. So for the start of the last round, I, I think we've probably should we have a. What was the other cat? The other cat that was yeah. What happened? I'm just going on. I'm just going to have a look at that. Uh, um, reload and see if round seven is. Uh, okay. The round seven results aren't up yet. So let's let's have a look at um. We saw the end of this game, didn't we? Yeah, sure. Uh, the, the game between um, uh, Brandon Clark and, 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 and yeah, you can yeah, have. and Brandon oh, the, Clark. So the question is, pretty. It's a pretty technical game, as far as I remember, wasn't it? Let me just see the. Oh yeah, with the, with the opening we saw, didn't we? Yeah. And okay. And you could say Black's got this is where we had that discussion about the knight against the bishop. Yeah. So I, speak, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Chris. No, no, I think we, we we pretty much said it, which is generally speaking, with pawns on both sides of the board in an end game, a bishop is a little bit more valuable than a knight. And you definitely have winning chances, but when the blitz factor comes into play, the knights, the falking ability of the knights tends to be a bit trickier than the clear diagonals of the bishop. But he managed to, it was like time didn't really become an issue for Brandon, did he? In which case he did you was able to utilize some techniques yeah. he was going for a bit because he won. Yeah. I mean, yeah. around about this at this stage, they both had about two minutes left. Actually, but nice is putting his pawns on black squares now to complement his uh, light square bishop. Yeah, that's very good play. I mean, um, also he's just generally advancing on the king side without actually swapping any of the pawns off, sort of cramps black on the uh, on the king side. If anything, actually, white would be quite happy to swap off a couple of pawns on the king side, and because it'd be easier to deal with just a pass pawn. That's yeah, that's that. a lot of people don't necessarily appreciate that, John. It's a way of phrasing that nicely, isn't it? But that basically, keeping the mystery of the more is, and you know, because of course, one thing that white can't allow is for black to get two connected pass pawns. That's like curtains, isn't it? So he can't afford to lose one of those pawns at all. So yeah, white would much rather swap off the pawns as many pawns. If he could go h4 and hg or g3 and gf, whatever, yeah. he might do that. For example, if black was just left with a, a pawn on, for example, g5, then okay, it's a pass pawn, but also it's it has to be protected by pieces then, doesn't it? Um, so black's pieces get a bit tied down. Uh, but now it's just this nice cramping. Well, with that in mind, whose guy was it here? Sorry, whose guy was it here? Was it white to play? Yeah? White played knight. E4. Maybe, in fact, we're in retrospect, then he should have played g3. Yeah, or, or indeed h4, yeah? Yeah, or h4, yeah. 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 Should have played one of those moves. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. Um, I think I've gone, because I've, uh, yeah, what I need to do is actually go to live analysis. Ah, live analysis. Yeah, course, there we yeah. go, yeah. So this, okay, let's just um, bring up that position again we had. Round about here. G5, G5, yeah. And then um, here, here. We've got three minutes. Let's just okay. Now you see, actually, this exchange favors black because when you've got the bishop, you want the pawn stretched as far as possible. So the very fact you've actually got a possibility of a past h pawn, that's that's what the knight dreads, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, the knight. Well, we've so, yeah, as yeah. you found out in the game. Well, yeah, almost. Yeah, but exactly. yeah, knights are rubbish at stopping h pawns. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this is, for example, if we go back, if white could play the move h4, try and get rid of that that pawn yeah, so basically the right. remaining pawns are closer to the center so the knight prefers that let's just let's just briefly see what happens then we'll have to get back i guess yeah so uh but what actually happened oh that actually knight? did happen did, oh he did go g3 at some point then he did, he did yeah have and, right. what happened now yeah why actually won that pawn um so black's obviously going to win some pawns on queen side so this is where we this is where we um stopped it and this is obviously good for black. This position yeah. it might well be holdable for white, but it's sim certainly not easy. I suspect in that position, maybe white has to try knight d7. Yeah. Instead of king d2. But the big danger, of course, now is that your king doesn't get back. Yeah. So you can go king c. Yeah, that's three. a big problem. And then just the a pawn rushes down the board. Yeah. That doesn't look great either. I, no. think, I, suspect, I suspect this position, unless white's got some miraculous. Uh, uh, Feels lost, doesn't it? I think resource. I suspect this is lost. Winning for black, yeah, yeah, okay. 
Um, I, th I guess we should look at the... Uh, yeah, let's back to the parents, yeah. parents, yeah, because this is it, John. This is the crunch time. It now. is. Let's just reload. Yeah. See, here we yeah, go. Parents, okay. so this, is, this is basically the final round. Oh, my word. And, if you've um, been following us up to now, stick with us to the end because we've got Harry Grieve on... Well, is that five? Five. Is that five. Harry... Stop, okay. no, I'm a bit confused there. Huh. What happened? What was that? What happened? Sorry, let me just, Brandon have, Clark, let me just, let me just have a look at round there. six. Of yeah. course, yes, Dong, Dong beat Richard Perth. That's why. Yes, yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Let me go back to round seven. Sorry about this. Uh, go to round seven. And uh, so we've got Harry Greve against Dong on board one. Okay. Uh, Brandon Clark against Keith Arkell. So we've got actually three leaders on five out of six, and then four players on four. Right, so, so, so it's basically, basically um, so it actually looks like um, we've got three possible winners of the tournament, haven't we? We have. Um, yeah. It's either going to be Harry Grieve, Dong, or Brandon Clark. It can't actually be anyone else now because well, it, those... it could be all of them, but then we'd need to go into the old tie. No, it can't be all of them because um, on board one, one of those players is going to get at least five and a half. Oh, it could yeah, be all as, those. As could, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but none, um, of the, none of the players on four can actually. Oh win no, 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 no. I mean the top three. Yeah. So, but in actual fact, just quickly, we should be able to know that. Well, actually, if they draw, they'd have drawn. But has Brandon Clark? Oh, how does that work? Should we have a look at the ranking list after round six? Oh my word okay go for it yeah so at the moment brandon, brandon clark Clark's yeah because he um, only lost to richard pert didn't he so he's got a good tie break at the moment hasn't he it's well he's basically uh, it's some it's some sort of book hold, so it's basically he's leading because he's played uh more the more the oh no no but the tie break one didn't you say oh sorry did you not say it was yeah, tie was break one is basically the your individual score against that player in which case um, brandon because he only lost to richard pert who won't be in the final uh, uh no, end, no but... i think it only i think that one only comes into consideration if there's two right okay so it's book holes right? first basically that's what we're yeah, saying i guess so, yeah. so is it the i mean of course of course actually if we go sorry if we go back to the um here the actual thing obviously if harry whoever wins on board one um uh yeah it depends whether i think Brent, i don't know whether brandon clark has played either of those two and how they got on uh um, he he must he must come didn't he beat Doc? didn't he beat his... Well, who did Dong lose to? Dong beat Keith, yeah. didn't he? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. There might let's, be let's, right. not, let's not get too bogged down. Let's get no, no, let's, game, let's, yeah. I hope we get a yeah. real winner. Okay. All right. So, okay. Here we go. There's some games starting. So, let's right, start. Okay. Um, let's start on board. Uh, Rory against Dong, ball one. Oh, no. Brandon against Keith against Brandon. That's okay. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Rock solid Keith, as always. He has that typical structure with the pawn on C6 and E6, Caracan style or French defense. I can't. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly how many times I've had this sort of position against Keith as White, basically. So yeah, White, has the, the, White has the little nibble of the two bishops, but Keith hopes to blockade that d5 square and then hopefully win d4 in the long run or try some little expansion on the queen side or something. Who oh, knows? Yeah. Okay, so that game goes on. So is that... Yeah. Okay. So so is, objectively, um, a tendency a bit better for... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? So this is Harry Grieve White against Dong, who's built the black pieces. This was some sort of Queen's Pawn, Bishop Torrey attack type thing. Um, the black's got certainly what you call a C6. is really lo now, overloading the pawns on the same this, color as his bishop, is this isn't exactly, is this what? Is this more or less what Dong did against Keith, isn't it? This sort of... You know, he got that space on the king side, didn't he? Yeah, but no, but he hasn't got the space here because there's a pawn on h5. Sure, but he, he more or less did that sort of stone y type of thing, yeah. But wasn't but the big difference there, John, was e takes d5 had already occurred, so he had sure, some action for his true, right. Yeah, but okay. he might try and get an e5, but can he get an e5? He might be able to get an e5. Yeah, he might isn't it to... now or never? Oh, it was too late, it was right, quite too smooth. late, yeah. Is this he might, he might he might try and grab that pawn on h5 though whoa can he do that he can... it's quite important to pawn to win if you can though because it basically it breaks the cramp doesn't it why not why can't he I'm was that a big sure blunder by was that a blunder by Harry, who, who, the pawn. what was going to do oh, could knight, he... oh knight takes f5 as possible yeah Oh yeah, sorry, that's straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. it takes h5. That's, that's cool. better, slightly better for white. Yeah, yeah because it's knight g3. He's got knight takes g3. Yeah, so that's yeah. Um, yeah, that's definitely good. Sorry, we we're all thinking about the discovered attack from the queen, but of course the knight, the rook is the one that does the business. In that case, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. So all right. So that looks. Um, let's. Well, let's I still. On. I definitely prefer white now. Here, I've, that's it. I've said my bit. 
And that's Black yeah. and Go. Come Black and Go Night. He's done, he's he's done, done that it. anyway. Oh, my word. He still, might, he, still might, he still might have been the best option. Okay. I was yeah. thinking not. I was wondering about Knight G4 actually, but let's see uh, to control okay. the five square. But uh, let's yeah, possibly yeah. Now that and then go E5. That's possible. yeah. That was my. So uh, a white's got to take, and is he going to what's he going to take with the pawn perhaps? Yeah, to give him spots a bit more space. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, at least now the knight can go to G6 to stop Knight E5. Although Bishop, okay, he's going to okay. Mm, so knight, maybe Knight E5 now for white. Yeah, seems logical. Black will probably castle queenside. I reckon. Yeah. And I would say that. Better for white, but yeah, definitely not, better. For white. Not, not disastrous for black. No? no, okay, I think that's fair enough. But I think yeah, that could be awkward for black because of the age, yeah, the age file situation. And I don't know, maybe black can get an F four somehow. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Definitely prefer white. Yeah, what let's, so, um, so let's yeah. go back to um. Let's go see. Let's. But I think we're. I think this game's going to be a bit of a. Oh my gosh! Okay. Bit of a bat, Bit of a grind, isn't it? I think unless. Uh, it's just going to be Keith moving quickly, isn't it? All the way yeah. through the game, I think. I mean, obviously Keith wants to do as well as possible, but it's worth pointing out that he obviously can't win the tournament now. Keith, can he? He's got four points. No. So um, he might. He might play this game with with a bit more just with freedom, basically. And if I notice, for example, here we go. Keith has just still got 10 minutes left. So I get... I yeah, get, now that H4 pawn he might be told. He might be doing some knight G4, queen H4 type thing. Yeah. Me. H5, I like that as an option against the... Uh, if we just go back, uh, white, black, white went H4, black met that with H5. If he didn't do that, white, what I was going to do is go H5 himself and just to sort of slightly weaken black's pawns around the king. I wonder if he can. Can he go D five? D five here. This well, exactly. He's probably thinking about some, some sort of some sort of. Break there are D, this could be a key moment though, because surely he's going to have to consider knight H five. He type sacrifices as yeah. well. This was, well, otherwise, otherwise, it was not worth black white playing H four. Uh, so they're going to basically D five is a, is like the consistent move now because if you go H four and H five and you don't have any move. No, yeah, you're right. It hasn't yeah, really yeah. helped you because Black's only going to improve his position. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it feels like it is nearly like now or never. And D5 certainly is a move you would definitely consider. So if we did um, some ten, we, we could go to live analysis and have a look. I'll go for live analysis then. Yeah, so here, okay, so Black takes. Right. We take. Yeah, we take. Black wants to take the knight. knight. Yeah. Okay, queen takes d5 doesn't work. So there's a, quite a few candidate moves here, though, aren't there? Is it all, all well, not? it's bishop takes g6, I guess. There's knight takes h5. Knight takes h5. There's it's always worth remembering, though, about these. Knight takes, what is it actually? Also, when you do these, do the cancel, you've got to realize what your actual threat is. So it's not always just a case of just take doing a sacrifice. Yeah. A move like knight takes h5, when you think about it, you actually have to think, what's my, what am I going to do next if my opponent, yeah? Yeah, um, you know, so it's always thinking about what the actual um, threat is. I'm wondering after knight takes h5 whether black can just take on um, c3. c3 just to get rid of a just to get rid of an attacker. Yeah, it could do. And then even you know after takes, I mean even queen takes h4 is a possible here. Is it you know where's white really going? Yeah, yeah, we didn't get time for a bishop b5. Yeah, no, no. you're right. Okay, yeah. So if we go back to that position. Yeah, knight takes that. yeah. Five. Does white have any? I mean. Bishop takes c6 is a bit more. I mean, take... At least that comes with a big threat, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So black's more or less forced to take, and then rook e6. Yep. That threatens the knight, and it threatens the pawn. G6. Yeah. This see this yeah. is exactly exactly. So this is I guess. I mean, should we go back to the game and just see? Yeah, whether... we might even have got this. Surely d5 has to have come. It has come, unless that was us. Does it come? I think. He has. He has Here come. we go. Wow. Yeah, this, is, this, this is it. You see, well, this, you know, uh, you know, we're not bad actually as commentators sometimes, John, I have to say. So we did predict that it had to be now rather than never. Brandon Clark appreciates that and he's done it at the most, the maximum time. But like you say, we are actually running queen takes f7 check to h7, unlike knight takes well, h7. queen takes f7 is actually mate at the moment. because it's, bishop it's mate. Seven. Yeah, I meant after knight yeah. takes three. So, so this is all happening now. All right, we found this to be very tricky. 
to say the least. For it feels uh, like black, we have to try knight takes c3 because yeah, because then you can at least block with bishop g7, can you? But yeah, knight, but knight c3, knight c3 knight 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 g7, seven, knight bishop g7, knight h5 looks really nice. Hang on, hang on, say that again. Say that again. Knight, knight two, takes c3, rook takes g6 check. Bishop G7. Bishop G7. Bishop G7. Knight takes H5. Rook takes oh, rook C1 takes check. Wow. Oh, Knight takes C3. Rook takes E8. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you might have to do that. And how many pieces are we going to... So he takes okay. the Rook first. Yeah, okay. takes Go the Rook first. first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now Rook takes... Us. Oh, Queen takes D... Queen, Queen takes D5 is also possible, though, isn't but it? But then Knight C5. Knight C5 is a good move. Ah, is that... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good move. Yeah. So so now you've got to think that knight takes c3 is a uh, 97 is possible I guess. yeah 97 looks grovelly really so really doesn't it that knight takes h5 maybe. yeah yeah so knight takes c3 rook takes g7 bishop g7 surely knight takes h5 is a killer for white isn't that mm. just completely winning yeah quite possibly or maybe knight f5 even so the queen's got access to the h file when he goes when you take on g7 Man, what can it? Why well, don't understand what choice is? So we're threatening mate in two right now. Is that or three or whatever? Now rook g six, queen, queen h five mate isn't after king h seven. I don't. Yeah, after mating. So he's got to go. So you're right. What choices are there? Can he block on f six? Takes. Can he block on f six? Can do. Not yeah. Not f six. But that's going to just. Then he's going to be. A, he's going to be a pawn. Pawn down with a weak king. Yeah. <laughs> That seems more up Keith Street than getting made. Uh, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, that might well be Black's best chance. Yeah. Yeah, and just, you know. Um, so Knight F6 is giving up. Well, Knight E7. Well, well like Knight E7 is the grovelly one. It just Knight E7 great. might well be the best move. Oh, so no, I mean, I suspect it just loses, but it might well be the best um, practical choice. But Knight takes H5, and then Black's got to make a, you know. I don't know. Well, yeah. Should we have a look? And yeah, go for it in live analysis, yeah? Yeah. This is a crunch game. So knight knight e7, yeah. Okay. So white doesn't have anything. I think you know. I'm trying to think of non-sacrificial ways for white to win. Yeah. Um, are there any? That's the question. But uh, the thing is, those knights are quite good. Even if we did get our queen to the long diagonal, it's not actually mate on h8, is it? So knight, knight takes h5 is the move you kind of. I'm starting to think. And as you point, yeah. I'm starting to think that this isn't all over. Maybe not. And there, there might be some sneaky rook a6 type defense in some positions as well. That might be. Yeah. Tonight here. Again, we have to think. I mean, about... even here, even here. Well, exactly. Sure. Again, we go Why back to this. Rook a6 go... even here would be. We go back to that principle. What is actually white threatening after knight to h5? Rook a6. Not... I'm not sure he's threatening anything. It's not. It's it? not. Yes, he's just taking the ball. So maybe rook a6. And if you can get rid of the rook, the game goes on. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, right. I'm, I need to go. We need to go back. We want to yeah. See go it. on. Let's see what's now. Actually, Keith's move. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Now that's more forcing. Of course, that's more forcing than knight. Than the knight takes h5. Oh, no, no. What's going on here? Knight takes uh, a queen d. Oh, you got to give him some credit. That's beautiful. That's quite. Beautiful, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. absolutely beautiful. And bishop yeah. d2 or knight f5. Oh my word, that guy's yeah. good. He's good. Too good for us. We missed that. <laughs> missed well, that. I, hang on. In the heat of the battle, I like to figure we'd have seen that. Sort of thing. So, but yeah. <laughs> Well, well, okay, I mean, so um, obviously that wow, puts, um, what a game clock on six points out of seven. That was so he, brilliant. So he's going to be at least equal first, and then it all depends on tiebreak. Should we have a look at the uh, board too? Yeah. Oh my word! Now, yes. This, then this, then... this, this, um, in contrast, is a very much more of a like a heavyweight battle, isn't it? Right. So what is going on over here? So this surely, hang on, my gut feels like it's good. For, oh my gosh! Chris, I was going to say, um, what are your uh, opinions about rooks on outposts? Oh my word! No, I'm so keen on that rook. Oh, not <laughs> not really over there, it's because it can't really do anything. Yet. Well, oh gosh! I don't, but I, oh god, what do you reckon? One, two, three. Let's do the counting. We we'll better check. We've got six pawns each. Isolated pawn on d five. I was tempted just to say straight away, white must be doing really well here, and I still think I'm going to stick with that based on that last. Has white got? Has white got knight takes g six here? Isn't that winning material? Yeah, that last move seemed a bit ropey. Yeah, knight takes g6. But maybe that's what he's... 
Yeah, he's done yeah. it. I think that was a big tactic, which I think might well decide the game. It looked like a really ropey move, though, didn't it? Well, I, I mean, uh, I don't know. But anyway, maybe, yeah. But it, just, it, it, just cut, seemed... it did cut off a lot of communication. But I don't even know what it was threatening, Bishop Cease. Well, maybe. No. Him to because that took, eliminated the rooks eight or oh, anyway, it doesn't matter, right? So, big night, yeah, and that's really and bad. What's news. the point? How can, can black keep this going? Um, so well, he got, can, he can take, can take on e, e7, uh, g6, and then move his queen, queen, yeah, but then why has got queen d6, rook takes h5, yeah, that's not, uh, that's not right, yeah, <laughs> he's, losing, is, oh, he's done that, but he's losing, oh no, yeah. you're like, no, 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 queen d8 was his best chance because Lisa stops queen d6 check, but thing is, why black's got no counterplay, isn't just rook takes h5, just gonna be, why does it stop queen d6 check? Well, that's, I mean, obviously you can do it and swap queens, but why should, surely why should be looking for more, black's king is weak, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, right, yeah, yeah. maybe. I mean, okay, that wins. Uh, those pawns yeah. are all dropping off anyway. Oh, that's oh, yeah. all I have to say. But Rook H5 yeah, first. Yeah, no, there's, no, there's no rush. He's you know, a basically. consummate professional keeping it there. That Bishop C. Oh, uh, that was, yeah. So hang on, let's get this straight. So Harry Grieve and Brandon Clark, did they play each other early? Do oh, I don't know. Hang on. So it's going to be on Booker. Um, yeah. Book hole. Sorry, John. It's book so the, first, the tie break is Book Holes, or is it uh, who played against each other? If they're played against each other, that makes a difference. So let's just um, maybe, uh, to be honest with you, uh, it, we're, we're, I don't think we're in a good enough position to work it all out. So should, let's just see um, oh, let's okay. just see what happens first. I mean, um, Harry, uh, could you just remind her, what's the, who, what the scores from these? Uh, is this is this is board one, isn't it? They've both got, they've actually both got five out of six, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, they both got they both got five. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever wins this game will join Brandon Clark. Yeah, six. he's got six. Out of seven. Yeah. He's played Queen E8, hitting the kind of skewering or forking the uh, pinning the rooks, but also attacking E3 with check. So that was something at least. That's good. Although F8 is hanging, so why could play a move like Rook E6 here, for example? Yes. And he's done it, which he has done. Yeah. And the problem is for Black, it's not. Oh. He, he, he's not even. It's very difficult to see if he's going to escape to an end game because the rook on B6 is completely out of play. And if yeah, yeah oh my yeah. word this is king d2 keeping everything under control although you can go you can go uh rook a, rook a, chain, we go queen rook a, a, then queen e3 and rook e6 yeah keeps just about everything under control keep everything under king control. d2 looks pretty good doesn't it Was even, even rook f5 looks pretty good doesn't it actually would you have to then go queen e3 and rook c6 some sort of attempt against c3 maybe maybe that's possible what queen f5 rook f5 here i said if rook f5 queen e3 check king b2 rook c6 possibly oh right and then oh i see yeah now that's actually that's that's a bit of play isn't it yeah that's a bit of play, so yeah. i mean I, I do like king d2 i'm not quite sure if, if black's got anything against king d2 Although not enough, because we could then go queen b4, by the way, and then we're oh, defending okay. everything, and we two connected past pawns up on the queen side with rook e5, a big threat. So, um, But obviously rook h8 is also um, pretty good here, isn't it? Yes. Rook h8, queen takes pawn, king b2, rook e6. Yeah. The question is, though, obviously white's yeah. clearly winning. Yeah. But does he actually have a killer there just to, like, black resign? We can go rook a no no he can't maybe he just plays king b2 a calm quiet move well king b2 here yeah yeah ah uh, okay and if um but actually king... the, the queen, that would just transpose probably <laughs> at least it gives him more options i suppose but oh no. actually uh, rook h3. oh rock solid i must admit i'm gonna take on f5 with the queen yeah okay yeah. king b2 yeah yeah, he's gone solid, hasn't he? You can't really blame him, can you really? No, because also because also, now he's threatening rook h8, rook c8, bishop f5 and the skewer. Yes. Or, or bishop f5 first. And then, yeah. So well, he's also, yeah, he's also threatening queen takes f5 and winning about 50 billion yeah. pawns. So, um, what are we doing now? Rook h8? So board three out of interest. We didn't even have we looked at Pert Duncan. Is that still going? Even we can have a look at that. Should we have a look? Yeah, at let's that? have a quick look at that because just to see. Uh, so this is okay. It looks like a black support uh -huh. up. Oh, it was a, a London system. This came from. Uh huh. Uh, this feels like. Uh, 
I don't well, know. It's a whole bunch of pawns on those four files on the king's side. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got he's, it's very it's unusual to have a minority when you've got four pawns on one side of the board. <laughs> you have got a minority on, on this board. He, which he must have taken. How did he take? He must have taken. Well, basically, it's a London where White would have done that and then that, basically. And then that, yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough, yeah. And, yeah. So um, it feels as though Black's doing fine here. Hmm. Albeit, obviously, in the Blitz game, then, you know, White, the trouble is, I suppose, once Black castles, then White's just going to go for the pawns and these, so. But, um, yeah, okay. Um, oh, so this is, okay, so but, but mind you, hang on, what's fronting? So his fronting rook takes... Queen a4 is fronting rook takes c5. Where did that queen just come from? Sorry, John. That from queen d1. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, so what did so, he do? He's protecting his a3 pawn, pinning that knight, and yes, still fronting rook takes c5. So, yeah. so white. So, um, so for example, queen b6 would be uh, a reasonable choice for black here. Yes. Yeah. And if um, if rook b1, then queen. Just queen, back. Actually, queen a5. A5. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Obviously, black yeah. would be very happy to get the queens off. Should we? Uh, what should we do? Should we? Go what about is that Schlock on the next board? Uh, yeah. yeah, that is, yeah. So it's a Schlock against David Walker. Oh, okay. So what's happening here? So David Walker look, looks like he's... Oh, he's the exchange he, up. Oh, he's the exchange up. Yeah, that's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, that's not good. No, that just looks very good for White. Not, yeah. Not a great deal happening there. Oh, um, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, you've had a hand. So what's you've hand against Frankie Bansconi. What's going on here? Oh, he's a pawn um, down. Is he a pawn down? White's a pawn down. Yes. That just looks good for black, doesn't it? That preponderance of pawns on the king side for black does mean he's two pawns got two pawns up on the king side. Yeah, bishop for knight, but so what? That's two a pawn is a pawn. Yeah, those knights are really well placed. And those white rooks on the F file are not really doing very much at all. Rooks don't like attacking pawns defended by unless the he's running G four. Can he go G four? Is it his go? G. Yeah, I, think, I know. It's actually black's turn. He's gone king H two. So G four. Yeah, G four. He's got to get it in, hasn't yeah. he? Now. I mean, obviously, black here could go knight e4. That's not going to be a bad move here, is it? Or he might go h5. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's, should we go back to board two? Because that's obviously absolutely, or board one, actually, isn't it? Crunch, but it's just, oh, still alive. It is still alive. So let's go. Bishop d7 has just happened. Okay. He's fighting. Mm, the queen's... I mean, okay. Now he's like just three pawns down, but white no longer has complete domination. As in the game, you know, there's there's yeah. swindling chances for black. Whoa, yeah. okay, he's trying to get those. Oh, That's a good can't, move. That's a very can't get. They can't allow those queens to come off. He's no, got to queen he's F. Got to... Oh, he's going to have to defend his bishop as well. Yeah. Uh, Queen a5 hits. Yeah, well, I mean, does he have to defend his bishop because he's got his c3 pawn to attack, hasn't he? Yeah. So queen a5. B4, if nothing else, but then queen c7. Yeah. No. To be honest with you, after Queen A5, White's always going to... Why not go Queen D6 check and then B4? That's, isn't that game over? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then. Yeah. So he's going to have to go Queen... Queen... Oh, right. Actually, he's struggling. Queen B6. Queen D6 is a massive problem, isn't it? I think massive so. problem. I am Can still... you go Rook C6? Oh, no. Queen H8 check and Queen E5 check. Game over. Queen A5 is gone. Uh, Queen D6, I'm afraid, is going to be game set. Queen D6. And match. Yeah, he's seen it. King A8 and then B4, yeah? Yep. He could probably even take on D7 with his bishop, isn't he? There's not actually a threat. Queen C3, King A2. Queen A5, Queen A3. That's also true. But B4 seems to be simplest. I think we're very close to this game finishing, aren't we? I think this is going to be one more move in this game. That is my prediction. Well, Harry Grieve... Oh, he has taken, he's taken with the Queen. That's interesting. Okay. He's going to block the Queen A4. Oh, White is threatening Queen takes C8, of course, so that's a big problem for Black. Yeah, and Queen A5, Queen A4. It's also a huge problem because then the Bishop attacks the Rook. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah, he had a few ways of dealing with it, didn't yeah, he? No, that's pretty. That was a that was that was a pretty convincing way to do it, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So rook c two to c eight, for example. Um, I don't know. Queen e three. Oh, queen check. Okay. Queen a four. Queen a four. You want? I think 
I'd have just gone king b2 last move instead of moving my queen. We don't, our king was absolutely so, solid. On Based on b2, yeah. yeah. Whereas with our queen can actually do it, we're going to have to basically move our queen again now, aren't we? No, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I think he's just. Uh... Hmm. Can we go bishop c8? Does that threaten bishop takes b7 check? Um, does it? Yes, it does. Yeah, but this is pretty good. Just putting your bishop on t5. T5 is going to be pretty monstrous as well, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's, he's going. Yeah. Don't blunder that. He's down to his last 35 seconds. Can we make some drama from this? King B2 is good. Oh, move, I don't think we're going to make much drama from here. No. But I think we should uh, maybe just... Obviously, this is, a, this is a critical thing for the positions. For the tournament, that's it. This is decide to win. So if Mr... If Harry Grieve can convert this... Then he'll be equal first. Yeah. And, uh, well, I'm, I must admit, I need to be a bit careful because obviously we could look at the chess results um, way of deciding things, but I'm not. 100%. Ah, that might not be the same as the. Exactly. Uh, yeah, we'd have yeah. to look. We'd have to look at the notebook and. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so now Queen B7 would be a nice way to finish the game. Will he allow that? Yeah, Queen. Yeah. Qu I think, oh, I think he, oh, but now hang on, hang on. Is he going to go Queen takes F4, Queen B7, Rook B7, Rook C8, oh, Queen wouldn't... B8, and the game goes. Oh, then Bishop takes B7, mate. That would be even nicer, wouldn't it? Is that right? Is that right? No, Queen B4. Oh, what are talking queen. about? Then he, he just, when he get to a winning Rook yeah. and Pawn, King and Pawn end game. <laughs> so, Queen, yeah. Okay, stopped um, it. He's fighting on. <laughs> it's like basically we're, 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 the thing, the thing about it is that like we've invested quite a bit of time now <laughs> you know basically you do, we, we need to keep going oh that's a nice trick f6 queen takes c2 <laughs> g5 yeah okay. he's yeah. hoping for queen no but he can go queen takes f5 no he can't bishop b7 now yeah he could go queen f5 hoping for queen takes b7 you could do yeah and then that would be good sort of um lesson wouldn't it never be flashy never be flashy exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a lesson i'm not sure um, is, that, is that part of the enjoyment of playing chess or is that being flashy never works well let, let me just say never be flashy when it doesn't work then <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right yeah. so uh what we're gonna have f6 now yeah i can't see that oh, oh no G he's going g6 it's gonna happen now Queen g6, queen b7. I think he he's going to get one. the ending. No, he's not even going to allow that. He's going to go queen h3. Yes, he has. Oh, he didn't go queen h3. Okay. Well played, Harry Greve. That was a nice game. Um, although, actually, I suppose it was decided to be mainly with, with the knight takes g6 move, wasn't it? Uh, the tactic in the middle of the game, which just... Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. I thought that was always quite nice for White. That yeah. let's uh, let's let's have a look at um, some other games. This is Richard Perk against uh, Chris Duncan. Yeah, and then after that, we'll we'll have a look at the um, scores. But we we, we know that basically it was an equal first between um, Brandon Clark and Harry Green. Um, so D six, those pawns are looking good, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the things took a definite downturn for Chrissy Duncan, didn't they? Yeah. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. I mean, he's let a few pawns up a minute ago. Okay. Right. Um, let's see some other games that are carried on or going on. Rather. Okay. Yeah. So this is Frankie Belsgoni against um, you can have. Yep. Okay. And we have. Oh. Black seems to be the exchange up here. Yes. And looking good for Black. Yes, it does. Yeah. Some sort of rook, maybe rook b8. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, he could no, also. That looks, that looks just very good, doesn't it? Okay. Let's have a look at this game here. It's getting close to the end. Also looking very good for um, the black pieces. Mm. Pavel Morosky. Can he pick up the rook? A few, your chat. Oh, it's looking like he's got to, he can't go. He's got to go to D1. Yep. Yep. Yeah, as long as White keeps the rook on um, king on the d1, the rook's safe because there's no way to check the. Correct. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But he's got to defend his f pawn as well. That could be an issue. How does he do that? That's not. Well, can he allow queen f2 and then go rook a3? 
I think what is probably what he's going to try. Yeah. But how does he needs to pass somehow? He's going to run out of passing moves. That's the problem. Now he's going to lose. Um, possibly. Uh, he, he might just be able to put his, uh, if he's passing, put his rook on a4 because there's still maybe no checks. So rook a3. And black can pick up the h5 pawn, I guess. Yeah. I would imagine so. Queen, yeah. queen g1 check and then queen h2 check or, or something like this instead. You know, can go, can go to g4. Okay, yeah. Now the king, king is going to hustle back over there. Yeah, it's going to take a while, isn't it, this one? Well, let's stick with it, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Technical end game. Okay, so now... <laughs> shall yeah. we or shall we? Yeah, well, is it, we, there's not much else going down, is there? I don't no, think. well, we could look at the scores, I guess. That's if they've been updated. I suspect they don't quite get updated for a while. Let's let's just briefly look at the scores, see what we've got. Um, let me just reload. Hmm. No, nothing's happened yet. So let's not look at that. Let's go back to the game. Okay, let's go back to this game. Uh, we, oh, we, he's we, lost his queen. I was missed. wondering about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was wondering about that. His time was ticking down. I thought, you better not go losing your queen. Right. So now can he so keep that's, that's what you get if you that's what you get if you go away from a game, you miss all the big action. Try and be flashy. Now, so now white is presumably white is just comfortably winning. It's gonna be difficult to swap off both those pawns. He's not gonna be able to it's gonna be a white win. Well, we'll see. No, it should be a white win, surely. And he's oh, got that's... 35 seconds left. Yeah. Oh, so, he, so he needs, basically the he needs basically to be the, the black has to go G try G far G4 followed by but G4 the bike can always go knight f5 or knight g2. He's always going to block that h4 square. Yeah, well, it'll be knight g2. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So this yeah. looks like it's going to be winning. Now, g4 is the key move here. But yeah, and then knight f1. And he's going to... Yeah, now he just basically... King f5. Like king and pawn ending. King f5, yeah. He's going to, go, he's going to win that h3 pawn and then come back for more. But well, he doesn't even need to, of course. He doesn't even need to take the h3 no, pawn. No. Why not? Oh no, we left that one. We missed all the so go back to where he did the queen. Was it did he simply allow a queen d5 check or something funny in that game? Just a Let's have a look. I don't think it would have been too uh too brilliant. Let's see. Oh, I oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe we went, one... did he go king up. No, what happened? No, I think it might have been a trick. Oh no, it wasn't a trick. What did he do? It was no, just, just simply this. Oh no. What I was thing. thinking, what I was thinking of is if, no. like, for example, he, if it's Black's turn here, yeah. Let's say White just made a move like this, yeah. 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 And then the, the this would have been more. If all King G five, did you allow him Rook D five check? This would have been more. This would have been an actual, yeah, 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 actual yeah. trick. Yeah. Yeah. That's... So uh, it's just actually not an easy. It's not easy for Black to win this. And that one he might have been able to draw though, because his king could have got to h4 or g3 and h4. Yeah. No, no, doubtfully, I doubt, I doubt it. Actually. But anyway, this um this position is not easy for Black to win in short time time because the rook no. and knight are good defensive pairing, aren't they? Um, yeah. There's one more game actually going. Let's just have a quick look what? at this game. Wow. Whoa, what's going Black's... on here? Whoa. Black's getting some queens, I guess. He is, and he's <laughs> king d7. I mean, he's in check. Of I course. think actually. Oh it? my word! Two queens against one. We this is going to need yeah. gonna need a bit of help to turn this one around. He can even go queen c6 check and block off. Is it he c6 f3? He, Which way is he going? It, it is, right. he's, he's done it. He's, done, it. he's yeah. done the professional that's job. A, two a, queens yeah. for one queens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's. Uh... I think that's all the games uh, are finished, actually. Um, let's try the uh, chess results again and see if we've got any uh, action. No, they haven't updated it. Mm. So we'll wait. We'll wait for it. We'll wait for it to be updated until we uh, uh, check that for sure. So that that game that Brandon Clark played against Keith Arkell, that, that was something special, wasn't it? That, that attack he did. That was nice. That was. We can have a quick look at that. That's obviously the game. That, I yes. mean, that was very impressive. Should we have? I mean, back we haven't seen every single game, but I can definitely think this. This could. This could easily be game of the round. Yeah, this could be game of the round yeah. or, or tournament Just, or whatever. Yeah. So Keith has played some sort of Fort Knox variation or something. Has he? Yeah. Somehow... Sorry. Let me let me go back to the start and this this French defense. D takes e four. Then what's known as the Fort Knox. And Keith's got lots of experience with this. It's very very solid. Um, albeit it can, sometimes a bit passive for Black. Um, and then um, Black's idea often is just simply to swap the bishop off and then put a pawn on C. So he's got the rock solid pawn structure. 
Uh, white's got the two bishops um, and some space. Yep. But, um, but black would hope to black would hope to maybe gang up on that d4 pawn at some stage. But is the space advantage makes it a little bit more tricky for black yeah. to move around. He's got a5 a4 though to prevent white from expanding on the queen side if that's what he was going to do. But you get the feeling that white's aspirations were always on the king side, weren't they? Yeah. Really? The problem for black is but what black would love to be able to do is swap this bishop off for that bishop. Yes. On d2. Um, are we actually in? Let's go to live analysis. Sorry. Let me just go. Yeah, which is what we wanted, isn't it? So we go to this position here. And I've had a few games in this type of position where, where basically the, the, the bishop's on d6 and the queen's on e7, and then you sort of swap off. But the structure's different here. You can't actually do it, which means I think black's got a, a more difficult defense. Yeah, and Black can never really get the bishop to f6 either because he can't move his knight anywhere, can I he? Do like, I do like the way that um, Brandon Clark is just simply just doubling rooks, not doing anything too quickly. So he's got all these pieces in their best positions, and only now he goes h4. Yeah, so this is amazing. So actually, h5 looks like possibly a decisive... I like white, I have to say that, but it looks like a decisive mistake, really, in view of what happened, doesn't it? Well, assuming d5 works. And yeah. Like, you know... Uh, but I mean, it seemed that after knight d5 bishop, it really looked like a forcing line, didn't it? But we'll come back to that in a second. Yeah. So I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess black can just maybe just tolerate an h5. On h5. Yeah. Because, okay, you know, if we make a move like queen, queen c7, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm still worried about d5 ideas at certain moments, but what can you do? Um, we'd like to get b5 in to get, get that d5 five square wouldn't we yes that's the sort of be easy but let's let's just try that i'm a bit worried about this rook but but you know okay white well, maybe doesn't have to give up the tension straight away but let's imagine he does maybe white should actually oh, oh he couldn't maybe black should consider sacking that b pawn pretty pretty yeah, swiftly yeah, possibly but if you look in this position the, yeah. the one thing that's going in black's favor is this knight on g3 is not really in the game with this type of pawn structure and of course black would definitely you know black would be very happy about exchanges that would just improve black's position so maybe un unless white's got an immediate d5 black maybe has a plan here as we talked about this move b5 maybe rook b8 and b5 mm. the idea to sort of swap those pawns and then get the d5 square for the knight yeah but what i mean is i think just in general even if you went b5 here C B C B Bishop B five Knight D five no 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 I don't I mean after all that what I'm saying is that was a threat in that position here after with the Queen on C seven even if you went even without Rook B eight B five you're getting some comp aren't you if you yeah you could play, and then okay. put your Knight once you put your Knight on D five that just feels yeah quite content doesn't yeah, it yeah I mean to be honest with you I guess the, also the question in this sort of position again is that White's done everything correct it all looks good but at some stage you have to do something. Mm. And this is why Keith's very good at these sort of positions. You know, basically, White's position builds up, but then you do you do have to do something. And if you don't, then Black's actually going to improve, whether it's with B5 pawn sack or whether it's just that Black's position slowly improves. So, um, yeah, so White has to try something here. It doesn't have to, but, I mean, basically, Black's position will slowly improve if you don't. Yeah. I mean, is, is D5 playable? Probably. D5, C, D, C, D. Can we go Knight, D? This That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. Oh, it says queen, oh, queen D, queen D5. Queen D5 is nothing, is it? No. Probably not. Bishop C3. Uh, I can't even do bishop C. Yeah, okay. This is nothing for white, is it? Oh, no, sorry. What am I talking about? How many rooks did he? He only got one rook there. No, that was really poor. Yeah, yeah no, that, sorry, John. That doesn't work at all. And also, he could have taken it. did that. There was a number of reasons. So, CD, CD, 95. And this, so previously, obviously, there was the ideas of sacking on G6 and E6 falling and all that. But that doesn't seem to be anything like as dangerous now, does it? So, in retrospect, he probably should have done this. Wouldn't he? Yeah, so, for example, here is now probably premature, isn't it? Because Black's very well defended, yeah? A move like Rook F8. Yeah, and all our pieces are coordinating nicely. So we should have we let's just uh, go through what happened again because that was quite very nice, wasn't it? Yeah. So H five. So, so to be H5. fair, if if it was Keith's go here, he might have been able to do Knight G four actually in this position, or, or simply Bishop G seven, which is going yeah. to improve his. You know, that will improve his defense, won't it? 
Yeah, but what I, I mean, mean it's not, not G4 threatening Queen H4 yeah. and Queen H2. Yeah, but, yeah, so, so, but yeah, he went for it. So D5, as we discussed, this was, was the time to do it, wasn't it? Yeah. D5. Takes, takes, knight takes. And this was lovely, wasn't it? Bishop yeah. takes, this was really nice. Bishop takes G6. Is, yeah. So again, it's this idea of like, the candidate moves looking for the most forcing ones first. First. We discussed about this knight takes h5 as well, but the fact is that doesn't even threaten anything, so that should be lower down your list yeah. of candidate moves. Yeah. Bishop takes g6, basically forces hg6, and rook takes e6. Now look at the threats that white has now. Uh, three huge threats. Yeah. Uh, this. So basically black is forced to get rid of one of the threats, but white's still got two of them. Yeah. And we didn't really see anything. Well, actually, we thought the knight e7 was the best option, didn't we? And we were, yeah, looking, yeah, we, yeah. we were looking, wow. looking at knight takes h5. Well, to, be, to give us a little bit of credit, we thought that looked horrendous knight e7, didn't we? But we literally couldn't see any other defence, could mm. we? But um, it'd, be, um, it'd be interesting, actually, uh, with an engine. Fine. Look, we know that rook takes g6 wins, but it'd be interesting to see if white didn't have that, what the assessment of the position would be. Um, yeah. I suspect that white is doing really well anyway with other moves. Yes, I suspect um, as well. But, I mean, I'm just, I've just seen knight e4 to f6 check might be might be strong but okay uh but anyway let's just see how um, the game with game continuation was very nice d5 check and it's it's force mate uh king h7 and then queen f7 and then every single piece remaining piece is involved wow in the checkmate that is i don't know that b2 pawn's pretty uh, redundant over there john economical <laughs> economical <laughs> mate isn't it not yeah. helping out with the attack but look at that let's let's have that a is a fantastic game everybody that's a fantastic game, game. Yeah. yeah um because i mean keith as far i mean keith didn't he he just played very normal moves as black he, you know and it just so happened that h5 is the move you want to play as black isn't it there yeah and it just met with a lovely refutation let's look at the um see what we've got here let's just see if we've uh, anything's ah oh, here we go L ranking list after seven so here we go this is the final rankings so ah here we go so actually um uh first equal brandon clark and harry Greve. and if they are choosing the uh chess results tie break because um brandon clark did actually beat harry Greve earlier on the tournament he wins on tie break um Yep. So there's those two on both on six. Let's see how many players got five. So in joint third, we have Dong. To be uh, fair, John, he, he seems to win on all of the tie breaks, doesn't he? He does, exactly. Yeah. So you have to imagine that puts him likely that he's outright exactly. winning. The, okay. Yeah. So um, you're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure that's the way it is going to be, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, my only, uh, my only thought is that one of the, the one tournament they did last year, which was actually the, the actual championship proper online, uh, Mickey Adams and Amit mean, Garzi came equal first, but they actually had a playoff, didn't they? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think that's that's the case for these tournaments. So anyway, um, in joint third position, we had Dong, who had that amazing game against Richard Pert, didn't he? Yeah. Um, and Richard Pert as well, and um, uh, Giacos Gerasimos as well yeah uh, on uh joint third and then on four and a half we had uh you can hand jonathan blackburn um and then uh we had a few players on four including keith arkle chris duncan and david walker yeah brilliant should we just see if there's quickly john if there was any um comments that we just if there was any questions at any stage can yeah we, can we see that just to end with okay um don't play rook g4 queen h2 then queen h3 so king f1 black has a lot of pieces still hanging yep so that could be well, king f1 that was probably the game with richard pert was playing was it king f1 in that game well it's funny yes. looking at the comments now even trying to think where they could have gone to so king f1 was probably that game where he didn't go g takes h3 it was yes they, yeah exactly um, and the other one is the d4 knight f6 bishop g5 e6 e4 h6 bishop boy is a good center but it is not enough. Okay. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Yeah. Wow. And we've had a good day. I definitely got some entertaining chess, certainly towards the end of that tournament while we were watching. That seemed to be very good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was very good. Yeah. So, okay. Excellent stuff. Right. So, well, thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, see you again soon, hopefully. Yeah. Brilliant. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.